Greetings, everybody, and welcome to a very spooky, scary stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. I am Johnny Chiodini, but hark. What noise? Softly crackles. In the background. Why, it can only be inscription. Inscription? Inscrying? I don't... This is... It's a game called Inscription. It's out now on Steam. Uh, it is like a deck-building, roguelike, spooky odyssey of a game uh, that I have never played. Uh, but I want to play, and so here we are. Um, hopefully the uh, the game audio in the background is, is alright. It's just a very soft little noise. So tell me about the mix uh, once we actually get going. But hi! It's lovely to see you all. I hope you are very well. Uh, sorry, just need to move OBS in my window. So you've lost game audio just for a second. Lovely. All right. Um, I hope you're all very well, and I hope you're enjoying uh, the 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 dying embers of October as we hurtle on toward the end of the year. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I think we should just jump straight into this because um, I am excited. Oh, it has crypt in it. There's the pun. Inscription. Thank you, whomd21. And hello to everyone else, uh, including Christopher Needham, who also got it. JW, aka Marvelous Jacket Man, RV Dammit, Mr. The Jeff, JT, Space Cornet, Elizabeth Rakowski, Kate K, Apotheon2000, Mabel Teaches, Metal Magpie, and uh, anyone else who's watching, please enjoy as I click this button. Oh no, Laurie and Leaf Lady says I am not well, but this will help. I hope it does. Hold on to your butts, everybody. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Ins crypt. Oh look, they've even underlined crypt. Ins crypt. Yun. Oh, there's a typo in the stream title, is there? That's fun. I'll fix that later. I can't hit new game. Seemingly. That's weird. Options, credits, quit. We must hit continue. Well, that's scary. For I have never played this. Hello? Ah. Brave Play says, do you play card games? I do. And I've lapsed on most of them. Like Hearthstone. Or Doomtown. <laughs> Hello? Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Squirrel. There. Now play your stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. An honourable death. Play the stoat. He gads. So I guess that's the blood cost? Wolves require two sacrifices. Oh yeah. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn. And commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. Mabel teacher says, why does it speak in farts? Hmm. A good question. The number on the stoat on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Good job, stoat. <gasps> Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Hmm. 
My turn. Coyote? Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. Okay. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. Christopher Needham says, that was totally unnecessary. It's going to be that kind of stream, is it, Christopher? Is it? Let me just adjust the f-stop on here a little bit. Tiny bit brighter. There I am. Hello. Grand Moff Schnipp says, well, it's nice to be... Uh, nice to actually be able to catch a live stream. Hope everyone is well. Very well, thank you, Grand Moff Schnip, sh sh Schnips. <laughs> right. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Now let's have a look at the wolf. Don't get ahead of yourself. You need to draw. A I just want to look at the wolf. Let's let's top deck a card. Why not? River Snapper. How reckless of you! Yes, I suppose that you are lacking sacrifices for that creature. Yep, yeah, well, then we can't do anything. We must ring the bell. Take that. Because you are learning, I will pass. You've drawn all the creatures from your deck. A squirrel is your only choice. But that's great. Because now we can play the squirrel. The wolf demands two sacrifices, but does three damage and has... Oops. Two health. Or well, this does one damage and has six health. Let's play a wolf. Sorry about it, Stoat. <gasps> Did you see that? The Stoat said, hey, stop. Its suffering was real, but you'll see it again. Oh. Okay. Shamari Wallace says, Johnny, have you bought a second copy of Disco Elysium? Now it's on Switch. I have not yet. Thinking about it, though. But right now, I'm just, uh, just hanging out with this wolf. Ting. Combat. Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. I like this. It's kind of like a tug of war. Pass, you coward. Should we play the river snapper just for fun? What does the wolf say? Nothing. River snapper. <laughs> Look at it, it's cute. Oof. Mr. The Jeff says, this seems wholesome. Chris Rakowski says, such a devolver game. Oh my yes. I've won! Yay! Zega Genesis says if you aren't enjoying this, we could always play Hades. I'm bloody loving this. Back in your box, Zega Genesis. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Oh! You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. There's me, look. Pomp, pomp. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The undying cat. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Well, that's good. And an adder, the caustic adder damaged from its poison bite, is always lethal. That's a great card. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Oh, no. <laughs> Excuse me! Criminy! I'm going to add the Undying Cat, I think. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle, break in case of emergency. And have a second. Okay. Oh, another useful implement. It'll allow you to tip the scales with it. 
The three is as much as you can carry. A skull seems like good news. Oh no, you were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. I'm so sorry, Stoke. Play along for now. What? Okay. You can see my moves in advance now. You're going to play a wolf cub, are oh, yeah. Well, you have played a wolf cub. Well, not if I can help it. Squirrel! Oh, I can't play it there. See many. Oh, that's because that's where your line is. All right, Squirrel's going to go there. Brian Shona has done a super chat saying, So glad to see you tackling this one. I wasn't at all interested until I saw that it was from the maker of Pony Island, which made it an insta-buy. Mmm. Need I remind you items may help? Ooh. Ah! Woo! A well-earned point of damage. Holy shit! I didn't think you would really do it. Well, I wouldn't have if I'd known what was coming up. Let's stick the... Oh, no, the cat needs a sacrifice. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> you know what? We're going to add a squirrel here. So we can play the stoat. Here we go. I'm also going to play the cat here. I could sacrifice both to play the river snapper, but I think I'm just going to... Even though the cat does no damage, I think that's okay. Oh, Lorian Leaf Lady says, Jesus! And Brian Shona says, Yep, welcome to this game. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Oh, no. Okay, so we've got the cat, which we could sacrifice. But if we play another squirrel, we can keep the stoat in play. And definitely play... The snapper. So I think we should. And the cat lives. It's great. Uh, we want to be able to play something the minute this boulder disappears, because it's got four health at the minute. Hmm. Sarah Burke says, Hey Johnny and chat, we'll return after Fear Academy. See you soon. Hello. Missy Smith said, I'd hate to see what the Tooth Fairy is like in this game. No kidding. Oh, it's a wolf now. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Oh no. It must die. Luckily it will, because... Uh, war! My bat flew right over your stoat. No kidding. Um, have I got nothing in my hand? Oh yeah, I played the river snapper. Let's top deck this. Wolf. Okay, we can do this. Okay, so the stoat should kill the bat. I think that'll be fine. The river snapper can do that. We've got a wolf, but I think we should play it here when that boulder falls. So I think we're actually in a pretty good position for this turn. Okie dokie. So, I'm going to play the squirrel here, and then play the wolf by sacrificing the cat and the squirrel. Wolf goes down. That's looking alright, isn't it? you. Another wolf. Okay. I mean, I could sacrifice the stoat again. Or the river snapper, in fairness, because it does a lot of damage. Sorry, it, does, it has a lot of health, but there's not really anything attacking it. Let's just go in for the kill. 
Sacrifice the cat. Sacrifice the snapper. Put down the wolf. Ring that bell. Delightful. You prevailed and trekked onward past the now bloodied terrain. <laughs> Jezal uh, Vadgama? I'm sorry if I said that incorrectly. It says, I've been here about 30 seconds and everything so far sounds like spy code phrases. And Darkmoon689 says, I don't understand this game at all. Don't worry, we're very early on. And the next time we play with the actual cards, I will explain what's going on. David Gorman says, I feel like Homo when Mr. Burns is trying to tell him about baseball signals. When I pull the base of my cap, it means bunt. I haven't seen that episode in far too long. Okie dokie. Let's see what we got. Wolf cub or sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble flying creature or the wolf cub, which... oh. But, well, I guess we're going with the wolf cub because I accidentally clicked on it. So the wolf cub is cheap to play and then becomes a wolf, which is useful. Oh, you stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Oh, what? Ah, the wolf cub. Ah. Oh. For the wolf cub's so cheap to play and then becomes such a good attacking card. But the cat is really useful. Wolf cub. Sorry, wolf cub. Behold, the rule book. You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Pick me, says the stoked card. <gasps> a ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the wolf cub now lives in the stoat. Outstanding. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Damn it. That's not good. No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. What we got over here? That's a bat and a coyote, which is airborne. So a card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. Okay, so for those of you who are a little confused, we've got some cards. Here are our cards. Uh, these cards have, uh, in the bottom left attack power so the river snapper does one bottom right health so the river snapper does six but what about these blood dots these are sacrifice cards so if i want to play the squirrel the squirrel's a nice little prey animal doesn't require a sacrifice so we can just whoop slap down the squirrel right now if we want to play say the stoat which is the only one we can afford by sacrificing the squirrel we can play the stoat back on the board um, and then once we're done playing cards which we are now because we can't afford to play anything else because these both require two we just go ding-a-ling and then we start attacking so uh, the stoat should kill the bat because it's in the same lane it does one damage and the bat has one health once there are no creatures in the lane um, we will instead be attacking our opponent here and putting damage on the scales once the scales tip all the way down we've won um, but you'll notice this little icon here airborne a card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly even if there is a creature opposing it so currently I'm going to be taking if I hadn't played the stoat here to take out the bat I'd be taking four hull damage at the start of my opponent's turn, which one, two, three, or four would nearly kill me. So it's an important sort of lane balancing game about smashing one another in the face with animals. Got it? 
cool. Brian Mallard has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, a quick hello from Sydney. I'll be back to watch this at a more reasonable hour. Understood. Until then, a good morning slash afternoon slash evening or night to all the Skelly Pals around the world. Thank you very much, Brian. That's a lovely super chat. And I hope you're well. Um, the clocks are about to go back here in the UK this weekend. Uh, so we're going back by an hour. I don't know if... Um, I don't know if if uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if that makes it better or worse for people living in other parts of the world. To be honest, oh, the bat isn't on the board yet. It's the bit telling you that it will be there after your opponent's turn. Understood. Oh well. So we oh we are going to do one damage. Okay, well, ding a ling a ling. Bang, one damage. Okay, now the bat's here. The totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. I know, and I think that's scummy. Oh crap. Yes, right, I understand. Okay, we do have one backup squirrel. So we could play the wolf. Yeah, let's do it. Let's I'm just a bit anxious about getting cards down now. So we'll do that. Take our emergency squirrel. And we'll play the wolf here. So this should take out the bat and the coyote and give us a clear run. Great. Okay, so what's my opponent doing next turn? They're playing a wolf cub. Ah, but they're playing it in that lane, which is sneaky. If you ask me, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Hmm. So what we could do, because we need to start doing, so we're going to do five damage at the end of our turn. Oh, it would be six if we play something here, which could win us the game, potentially. I need to look at the bloody, let's see. Do we want to draw a squirrel or a beast? Let's draw a beast, just for fun. Cat, yes! Honk, honk, honk! And the stoat grew up, so the stoat is now doing... Um, oh, crap, but the cat needs a, needs a sacrifice to be played. Okay. Oh, that's not great, because I'd have to sacrifice the wolf. Okay, that wasn't my best play. You know what? We'll just leave it at that. You're three damage away from winning. However, the wolf cub just pulled it back by one. Let's take... A squirrel card. And then let's play the cat where the squirrel is. And then let's play the river snapper by sacrificing the cat. <sighs> and the elder stoat. Oh, they said, wow, seriously. Because now we can kill this wolf cub before it turns into a wolf. And we're doing three damage... One, two, three. So we're not going to be winning, but we'll be in a good enough shake. Um, if you could please refrain from giving me advice about what to do in the future in this game. Like, I've never played this before, and I'm learning, and I kind of want to just discover things by myself. Um, so if we could not backseat, that would be really lovely. I appreciate it and you very much. Now, what's that you've played? A coyote. Okay. Um, well, let's draw this creature and see what we got. It's a wolf. Okay. I could play the wolf just to really up the damage and really see this home. I think I will, actually. We're going to bin off the river snapper. And we've won. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. All right. Ooh, we've got a choice coming up as to which way we go. But first, do we get a card? Bullfrog. 
Watchful Bullfrog leaps in the way of attacking flyers. Mighty Leap. A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. That is useful. There's the adder again. And then the raven. Ooh. Lucy's done a super chat saying, I'm enjoying the LSPs do Halloween playlist, thinking of using it as a background for my tabletop games Halloween party. So here's the borrowing fee? Question mark. Thank you very much, Lucy. That's very kind. Okay. So, which one? Nearly. Which one do I want? I think I'm going to go for the raven. Because they're great animals. Although the bullfrog only requires one. And can do a bit of... Can basically get down, Mr. President, an airborne attack. Only two health, so it's only likely to survive one or two two at the most. Let's take the bullfrog. It's kind of a bit more interesting in terms of diversifying what we're up to. I don't know which one to go to. That seems weird, so we're going to go for that. Oh, crap. <laughs> I should have, should have remembered what that was. Oh, really? Stop making me choose between the cat and other things. The cat is so useful. But I like the bullfrog. This is annoying. Oh, wait, but I can... That's right, I can imbue... <gasps> yes, we're going to do this. There we go. And we're going to imbue the River Snapper. If we imbue the River Snapper with the ability of the Bullfrog, look at the health on the River Snapper. It's got six. So if the River Snapper can jump in the way of airborne attacks, saving me from harm, it'll do it for a lot longer than the Bullfrog. It'll be more expensive to play, but I think this is the right decision. Oh, but I could have put the soul of the cat in something else. So I could play a wolf that never dies when sacrificed. Yes. Yeah. Well, next time. Next time we'll do that. Sorry about it, cat. Let's have a fight. <laughs> Nothing to worry about there. Okay, what we got? We got Grand Fur. That's great, they block airborne attacks. Because there's a sparrow down that. Wah, look at that grizzly, that's horrible. Okay. Um, oh, cripes. Okay, so. Let's start by playing squirrel. Then stoat. Yes, I'm sure about this spot. Thank you. So. That grizzly is going to be a problem pretty soon. Ah, oh, you can't sacrifice the Grand Fur. Well then, that's all I can do this turn. This is going to hurt, isn't it? <gasps> that's a lot of grizzlies. Woof. Ouch, ouch, ouch. But that's going to take so long to kill. No, we shouldn't do that. We should if we get a wolf down there, it's gonna die to the grizzly, but it will half its health. <sighs> Not feeling great about this. Well, we can but try. If we lose, we lose. Oh no, there's a grizzly there. Oh that was the wrong call. Oh well. 
think I've lost. I have lost. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Wow, wow, wow. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. What? Whoa! I'm sorry, but what? Bring it here. Oh, oh, ah, oh. oh my god, this is great. Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Oof. I wonder what the fire does. I'd like to know. Oh, but then that, that bag was so useful last time. Let's go that way. Lorian Leaf Lady says... Where's it gone? That many grizzlies was very uncool of you, mysterious opponent. I agree. Another wolf? What the? Why is there a mushroom next to the wolf? Skunk! Its strength reduces the strength of the enemy. Interesting. Stinky. <laughs> the creature opposing a car in the sigil loses one power. Interesting. Raven. I like the raven. I think we should take the raven. Wow. Its bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Clever. Oh, choose one. Okay, we don't want the pliers again. <laughs> Oh, and the black goat, please. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. We'll take that one, please. A powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Yes, that, please. Feeling overburdened enough with the full three items, you carried on. Some guy sitting down has done a super chat saying, Can we name the thing across the table? Scary Dave. Well, if that if that helps you, you can call them what you want. The trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist descended. Um, thank you for the super chat, some guy sitting down. Uh, Michelle Cheddar, I haven't said that right, I'm sorry, has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, glad to catch your stream. Love this game and I hope you have fun. Ugh, I hope you have fun with it. Thanks for all that you do. Thank you very much for the super chat. I love this game already. It is Supoib. In the distance you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Hee haw! Twas the prospector. Oh, I don't like it now I can see your face. He's doing the prospector again? Easy boss. The mule's key. Okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. Right, pack mule. What does that mean? Sprinter, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Well, well, that's interesting. River snapper, squirrel, wolf, stoat. Squirrel. Okay. We'd have to sacrifice something now to play the black goat, so let's ignore that for the time being. Yeah. 
At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Odd. Okay. So the Elder Stoke can kill the coyote. That's great. And then there's a wolf cub coming in. Oh, because you know that that's going to die. Ooh, interesting. Okay, well... Here's what we should do. I'm going to play a squirrel here. I'm going to play the black goat here. Right? Then we're going to take a wolf, sacrifice the black goat to give us three blood, and then I'd have to sacrifice the elder stoat to play. Whoops. Play the river snapper, so I won't for now. Coyote's dead. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Yes, you did! Tutorial person. Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the car behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. So they've got an adder. Okay, so the adder's bad news. The adder's going to do in the wolf. But would only do one damage to me. So if I... Let's see. Let's see. Why not? Play the squirrel. And then... Play the river snapper there. The adder, assuming it's not... Yeah, it's only going to do one damage to me, which we can absolutely soak. And while the river snapper doesn't do loads of damage, it's better than... Oh, actually, I could have won then. One, two, three. Yeah, I could have won then. Oh, well. Dagnabbit! My mule! Well, I didn't know that was what the pack mule did. That's great. Okay. So, what have we got here? Porcupine. Sharp quills. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Okay. Raven. Bullfrog. Squirrel. Let's just draw a squirrel. That's what I would like to do, ideally. I'm pretty sure if we just play the raven now. Because that's not in yet, so we'll take two damage, three damage. One, two, three. If I play the raven now, we can win this thing. Let's see. Squirrel. Ah, wait. We'd have to sacrifice... Oh, why not? Yeah, because then we can play a squirrel there. Sacrifice it for the bullfrog. And then... That should be direct damage. One, two, three, four, five. That should be a, should be a win, by my count. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. <gasps> You had candles. There's gold in them cards! Ah, oh, shit. The adder's gonna kill my raven. I love this game already. This is incredible. Lorian Leaf Lady says, Now I understand why the mule is key. JT says, Mule crow transactions. That's genuinely a very good joke. And um, Mabel Teacher says, Bad news adders doesn't have the same ring to it. It does not. Okay. Ah! Ooh! Eh! Ooh! Stop that! Shit the bed! Good gold! I've struck gold! You bastard! Can I sacrifice these? I'm slightly afraid that I can't. There's no room for that card. Shit. 
I mean, what I could do is cut up the adder. But then the adder's only doing me one damage. Actually... Oh wait, the adder's gonna do the gold nugget damage. I don't want to cut up your cards. I want you to destroy these gold nuggets. So that... Damn you, Prospector! Look at your weird face! Uh, yeah, I want you to destroy the gold nuggets so I can play cards. Well, well, well. Ding-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling, motherfucker. Alright, we got scissors so we can cut one of these assholes up. And we... you got the porcupine. So we can definitely kill the adder this turn. By playing the squirrel. I'm kind of in... I wanna... I'm gonna draw a beast card, why not? Okay, there's a wolf there. That's fun. So, squirrel. Porcupine. Scissors. Bloodhound. Ha ha ha. Let's clear the deck. That's an adder. Hmm. Yeah, sorry about it, Porcupine, but it's time we get some more damage going on here. Ring a ding a ding. Uh, hang on a sec. I need to tab and approve a message in chat. There we go. Right. Sorry about the brief audio dip. Ding ding! This game's great! This game is great! Ah, yes. I've got just a handful of nothing. Handful of nothing! Uh, well, let's draw something. Raven. Great. I haven't got any s squirrel cards. Oh, we could make you skip your next turn. Why don't we do that? Ha ha ha. I'll pass my next turn. Silly. Oh, we won. Damn, shouldn't have used that item. 156 Football has done a super chat uh, saying nothing. Oh, wait, no, the, the message comes after that. 156 Football says, Hey, Johnny, what happened to Godzilla does a big roar? Which is a video that was um, on, my, um, on my channel before I sort of launched it as a Patreon thing. So to answer your question, 156 Football, I took it, I, I made it unlisted because it sort of didn't fit with the rest of the channel. You know what? You've given you've 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 bung me a dollar. So, let me just let me just grab that for you now. I'll paste a link in chat for you. Cuz, you know. Why not? Um uh it'd be nice yeah, it'd be nice if you can you can see it again. I don't want to deprive you of Godzilla does a big roar. Gosh, there's quite a lot of videos. Turns out I've been quite busy over the last six months. That's nice. Godzilla does a big roar. Here we go. Godzilla does a big roar. Post link. Titan Uranus says, and it's coming home. All right, fine. You can have it's coming home as well. Uh, where is it? Uh... Godzilla does a big roar. Freed Arg. Um, uh, if I can't find it in the next 10 seconds. I can't find it. Uh, I can't find the It's Coming Home one. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Allow me to light your... Anyway, back to the game. Uh... There we go. Click that. Allow me to light your candles once more. Once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Thank you. I got a life back. Miner's Bane. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you were granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Ureuli. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Strange lava. A largely unimpressive specimen, but it will turn into something. Or child 13. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? I'm going to take strange lava. 
because I desperately want to know what it turns into. So we're taking that card. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Checkerbeard says, is it a shiny Charizard? Oh, no, it's not. And Captain Grimbo says, pick Black Lotus. <laughs> hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Now, is this another sacrifice a card business or is this something else? Let's find out. I want to know. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Oh, wow. Huh. Three is quite intense, but could be fun. Let's give it a go. Moose back. The regal moose. The creatures of the wild make way for it. Seven health and three damage with whatever that is. Doesn't sound too bad. A random card with a cost of three. What were you expecting? Something like that. Hefty. The end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Understood. Um, let's, I haven't been to a campfire, so let's find out what one is. Oh, whoa. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, and that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Hmm, says the Stoat. I wouldn't hate enhancing the power of the river snapper, to be honest. Why are you saying hmm? The Stoat is pretty great, and if we can make it a 3 3 for just one after. It will be a 3 3 after a turn, obviously. Let's do that. I like you, the stoat. The fire warmed the poor stoat, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it, another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the stoat away from the fire and left! Don't eat my stoat. It's a mustelid, it's not going to taste nice. Okay, so we can have a fight, or we can look at whatever this is. I'm powerfully curious about these. So I'm going to click. Uh, what the fuck? Oh! Uh, oh! Uh. The moose buck. The cat. A squirrel. Great. Okay. So what is all this? A bee. <gasps> bees. Two bees. Cabernet will grow into more powerful from after one turn on the board. Okay. All right. That's understood. Now, let's get the cat down. Uh, lacking sacrifice for the cat. That's right. Squirrel. Oof. Oh, no, wait. Do we want the cat to... Yeah, we want to play the cat there, ideally. Oh, I'm not doing any damage this turn, but, you know. Hey-ho. Go away, bees! Stop it! Bees! Okay. On the squirrel. And we'll play the wolf by sacrificing these two. Put the wolf there, because it'll do a damage to the bee thereby killing it and do overspill damage to the horrible scary blinking eyes take that oh no elder bee <gasps> bullfrog shit well you're not fucking around are you bloody bee okay so we're gonna get mantises mantises manti mantis Mantasas. <laughs> There's a bullfrog there, elder bee there. I'm gonna actually take a Yes! That's what we bloody want. Sacrifice the cat that never dies. 
Total misplay? What do you mean a total misplay? Up yours, the stoat. We're going to kill the bullfrog. Fuck off. Oh, crap. The mantis can attack that way. Ow. Yeah, I suppose ow. All right. Well, this isn't looking great. Okay, so that bee's going to die. That mantis won't die. We're going to do three damage with the... Oh, boy. Uh, one, two... I'm actually just going to draw a squirrel. Neko the kitty says, of, of the bees, Quick, start shaking your butt to distract them with your waggle dance. With pleasure! M Mantis God? <laughs> Shit! Oh my God! Fuck. This is bad. Okay, right. I think we have to... Shit. Oh, shit. We need something that will kill this bloody thing. Oh, I don't want to kill the Elder Stoat. But I may have to. Oh, this is going badly. Hmm. Squirrel. Wolf. Damn it, this doesn't feel good, but I'd need to kill that bloody mantis god. Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Strange lava! Dare I sacrifice the wolf for the strange lava? No, that would be stupid. Just gonna. Right, come on, wolf. Yeah, keep me alive. Oh, shit. That's not going to do it. Bollocks. <sighs> Alright. How disappointing. I know. That hurt. That hurt. I might just take another one. River Otter? The elusive otter that submerges itself during my turn! Oh, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Well, alright, River Otter. That's fine. Ah, now we get to sacrifice something. Alright, cat. I love you. You're, you're my favourite card, but I am going to pick you up and just um, smush you into I don't know, a wolf? Mm. Into the river otter? Would that replace this? I doubt it. Mm, I don't want to put it in the river. I'm sticking it in a wolf. Wolf eats cat. Checkmate. Hmm. Squirrel, square, square owl, raven, big scary wolf, strange lava. What do we got over here? B, B. But these aren't going to become elder bees, so that's nice. Fucking elder bees. Okay. I just want to know what the lava turns into, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to play the lava. I'd love to, dearly love to play something else, but. Yeah, I'll take those two bits. Don't you worry about it. Strange pupa! Oh god, it takes ages. Shit. Um. Ah, oh, god damn you, strange pupa. Alright, I regret playing you now. But what if you turn into something awesome? I can't play anything else without... I should have put you there. Should have put you there. So I'm going to start taking more damage. Oh, shit. I'm, you know what? We're doing this. 
I'm sorry, strange pupa. I, I'm gonna find out what you do at some point. But that point is not now. This game is no longer playing. Mantis. Fucking Mantis. Okay. But now at least... We know that we can sacrifice the wolf undying, play the squirrel, take out the bullfrog, because it'll eat that attack. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Shitting hell. This is intense. <laughs> Amy Little says, it's okay, Johnny, believe in the heart of the cards. <laughs> Kit Fox has done a super chat saying, hi, Johnny, your streams are a big source of joy and your DMing on Oxventure convinced me to finally try it myself. Your fab and I appreciate you with a heart emoji. Thank you so much, Kit Fox. That's a really lovely message and I very much appreciate the super chat. Um, and I'm glad you tried DMing for yourself. I hope you're having a bloody great time with it. Please top deck a one blood. Yes, you river otter little bastard. Ho, ho, ho. Right, River Otter, we're going to sacrifice the wolf undying and go down there. Oh, but yeah, uh, thanks, Kit. I hope I hope you enjoy DMing. It's, um, it is difficult sometimes, but it is also very good. So says I. All right. Oh, we're in a bad way. Oh, that's going to help. Ha <laughs> ha! Hold your breath. The River Otter's underwater now. Fuck off, B. I've got a B. When did I get a B? All right. Yeah. Oh, you can just play a B, can you? All right. Well, let's just <gasps> the river snapper. The river snapper that will in. Aha! Ha 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 ha! Okay. I really like this game. I think it's great. I'm gonna sacrifice the wolf that cannot die. Play the river snapper there. River snapper's gonna kill that B. Kill that B. All right. We're in a better position now. Phew. ring a ding a ding <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Alright, what have we got now? Wolf. That's fine. A wolf is fine. This lane's annoying. I'm just going to duke it out forever, it looks like. Unless I play the wolf. I could do that, actually. Yeah, 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 let's do that. So, if we sacrifice the Wolf Undying and the Raven, and play that there, because it does three damage, it'll kill the bee and do two more damage to my opponent. Mmm. Nom 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 nom. That was satisfying, and I enjoyed it. Nom 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 nom. This game is great. It is strange. And sometimes vaguely alarming. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Ah! Care to look at me pelts? Hello. The trapper dealt in teeth, the type collected from battle. They were gained by dealing damage greater than what is needed to win a match. Take a pelt, free of charge. Thank you, I will. See the quality? Thank you. You leave it? No, I'm not leaving already. Please consider, please consider me pelts. So we could buy the golden pelt if we want. Rabbit pelt, wolf pelt, golden pelt. I think let's go for the wolf pelt because that way we can save some money It's not mega expensive. We've already got a rabbit pelt. Oh god, we can oh we can buy more of them. Oh, these are cards to sacrifice, aren't they? I think I'm good with those two. 
Thank you. So thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelt. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so that's another sacrifice. Let's up some items, shall we? Or we could power up a card again. No, let's get items. This game's fucking great. I really like... Uh, emergency squirrel. Yes, please. Uh, black goat is amazing. Yes. Uh, Skippo. God, this game is so good. So good. Oh, I love it. Right, we're going to do this fight and then I need a Wii. Because I did go before the stream, but apparently I have very efficient kidneys. So, right, what we got over here? Kingfishige. Coyote. Kingfishige. Moose book. Wolf pelt. Can you sacrifice a pelt? You must be able to. I mean... Oh no, you can't sacrifice the wolf pelt. Shit, it is just useless. Ah, crap. Okay, well. Played that mistakenly. Oh, and it's going to die to the kingfish gigger. Oh, which is airborne anyway, so it's not going to die to the kingfisher. I should have put it there. Oh well. Uh huh. Put the river otter there. You know what? Worst things have happened at sea. We're still learning. But wait. What if we were to play the moose buck straight out of the gate? As Dylan Amadak says, bring forth the moose. Stygian says, Stygian Sage says, it is a blocker. Yes, but uh, get your hand off the table. Regrettably, uh, it's a blocker up against a, um... Oh, these are annoying against an airborne. But, oh well. <laughs> well, that was huge. But that's a problem right there. That's, that is annoying. But what we shall do now is take a creature. It's me. <laughs> We're not going to do anything with this just yet. Although the stoat... The stoat uh, does do two damage. So we could actually put it in place of the river otter. Let's do it. Fine. More damage, please. Really wish they'd take out that bloody fur. Wolf. The you know, the fur will disappear. Don't worry about that. Let's just do some damage. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. <sighs> Uh, those of you asking whether I've played Pony Island, no, I have not. Uh, and also, uh, just so you know, my pronouns are they, them. Not he, him. Ugh. Okie dokie. I really do need a wee. I'll be back in like 45 seconds, probably. Give me one sec. Uh, I'm just going to mute my mic. I'm not going to go from the to the be right back screen because I'm going to be back super quick. So give me one sec.
Greetings. Greetings. All right. Let's see what this is. Is it another box? <gasps> you encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the trader that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Start with your hair pelts, here's what I can offer. <gasps> another black goat? Yes. I want another black goat, they're amazing. Wolf pelts too, exquisite. Ooh! What's a warren? When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Rabbit hole. When a card bearing the scissors is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. Rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. There's another moose buck. There's a bullfrog that's a worthy sacrifice. A river snapper that's a worthy sacrifice. What is this sparrow? Bees within. Once a card bearing the scissors is struck, a bee is created in your hand. No. Mantis. I want the I want the bullfrog that creates three. These pelts are most excellent, my thanks. Oh, I love deck building. I love deck building. Num 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 num. Cause it means that we can we now we've 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 added a big load of stuff to our deck that generates extra blood. So we can start playing more powerful cards soon. So do we want to sacrifice a card to put its soul into another, or do we want to get more items? We do have one item left. Oh, let's take a gamble, why not? Okay, the strange lava. The river otter and the black goat. Could make the moose buck airborne. I think we're going to make the moose buck airborne. Yeah. <laughs> this game is has re ooh, has really caught my imagination. Oh, you can just look around at any time. I don't want to, I'm scared. Um, this is, yeah. What a corker. Oh, yeah. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to say, say. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. What are you playing over there? King fish gear. But I've got a river snapper, a squirrel, a river otter, and a black goat. Well, first things first. Play a squirrel. So we can play a river otter, I guess. Play the river otter over there, because now this is just a pointless... 
Oh, no, wait, because it means... Uh, yeah, there's a pointless lane. In a way. I'm going to save this stuff until next turn. Ring-a-ding-ding. We have traded. Which fish hard to choose? What? What? What do you mean, which fish hard to choose? What? No, do not, do not be fishing. What are we fishing on my otter? Shit. Fuck. Hmm. Squirrel go there. Fresher fish, easy choose. What do you mean? What? No, do not take it. Oh, that's interesting. New fish, easy choose. Damn it. Don't take new fish easy. What does this mean? I think this is about to become incredibly annoying. Are you just going to take that? You are, aren't you? You horrible bastards. Mine now, go fish. No, not yours. Give back. Shit. Should have known. Keep me alive. I'll try, mate, but... I cannot believe you! Stop that shit. This is real bad. Don't take my cards! You asshole! Here, look, have a squirrel. Fresh, choose. You asshole. Kill your river snapper. I lost! Have I lost? Take fish, go fish. Shit! No! Where are you taking me? Whoop! You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. You may think of it that way. Before I expire, before you expire, I must ask you a favour. I would like a memento. Your very own death card? It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We'll work together to amend that. It must be the perfect memento of you. Here are some of the cards from your mediocre deck. All right. We can put them to good use. Choose a card to draw the cost from. River Snapper. Cost of two blood from the River Snapper. Sure. And another one. I'll use its power and health. The numbers. Okay, well, we'll use the wolf. Three power and two health from the wolf. Choose a card from which we'll extract the sigils. Well, I'm basically, if I do that, I'm just remaking this wolf. But then two to get three back isn't really worth it, so I guess we'll do the sigil of many lies from the wolf. Never did ask your name. Johnny. I can't spell my own name. My name's Johnny. <laughs> Final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? I'm not ready. You do not need to smile, that's good. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. What are bones? A possum. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Well, interesting. Titan Uranus says, why wouldn't you pick the cheapest cost? Because that would have been a sensible decision, Titan Uranus. 
All right, squirrel. What up, Stoke? Ah, you get a bone. From the death of a coochie, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Very good. All right, let's do this. What have we got coming in here? A rattler? Shit. Ow, I didn't see the rattler there. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. While I was asleep again? Sorry, Stoat. But now I have enough to play the opossum. That is very useful. Shift Shift says, FYI, Pet Mart won't let you trade animal bones for a fresh new animal. Dang. That's disappointing. One sec. Do, 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 do. Sorry, just replying to a message. Thank you. Uh, okay, what have we got? What do we want? Let's pull this for fun. Bullfrog. Yes, yes. Draw squirrel, play squirrel, draw bullfrog, sacrifice squirrel, play bullfrog, ring bell, do battle, come close to win, play squirrel, for fun, ring bell, win. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Okay. It is beside the safe. Why, why is the safe rattling? Oh, we don't like that. I don't think we like that. Squirrel, black coat. Interesting. Let us continue. Yes, please. All right. Cockroach returns to your hand after dying. That's not so bad. And it's free to play. The nefarious rattler, brittle creature, once past its monstrous fangs. Six bones to play, though. And a coyote. Oh, the cockroach costs four to play as well. Oh, never mind then. Four bones, that's a lot. Let's take the rattler. Should we take the rattler? It hits hard. For six bones, that makes it quite a late game. Let's take the coyote. Don't want to have too many high cost cards. You know you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. Okay. I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me to plan your next encounter, but do keep your hands off my possessions. Abs <laughs> oh, it's actually kind of scary. <gasps> oh, I hope we didn't see that. Free money, though. <gasps> no! No! Oh, what if I didn't want to do that? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hello. Must be able to add something to that. Coco, no. 
Mighty leap kind of things. Okay, that's kind of a an index of things. This is brilliant. This I love this. It's scary and I love it. Ah fuck! Why did I do that? Okay, let's sit back down. Let's go get some items. That one's great. I love that one. Let's go fight someone. Alright. Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about buttons. Alright, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Well, well. <gasps> 273! It was right there! Interesting. In the rule book. Okay, what are you going to play? You're going to play a coyote. Which will do two damage. Uh, but you only have one health. And the stoke can withstand that. You sure? Well, I've done it now, ain't I? You sure? It's your game, stoat. That's the oh shit, the stoat does two damage. Whoops, I missed that. Wait a minute, let's play the emergency squirrel. Why not? Wait, did I not draw? Oh, did you pass? <laughs> Why are you not playing anything? I have one. How odd. How odd, Benson Mum. Mantis. Strikes to the left and the right. Well, we know about that card, don't we? And Raven Egg. Gotta kind of take us. Why didn't I take the lowest cost? I don't know. I'm gonna go this way. Oh. Look at the pig. It's so well modeled. Yeah, we're gonna take the bone tokens. Oh, whoops! Yeah, I forgot to go try this because I could have stepped away from the table then. Two, seven, three. All right, what we got here? We've got a coyote and a coyote. But I've got a wolf. And I could play an opossum. Right. First things first. Bad play. Fuck you. <laughs> Kin. Bone tokens, please. A possum. I suppose it could it could be considered a bad play. Yeah, it's not a great play, is it? I'm going to take four damage. Unless I use. Oh yeah, no cards money can cut yet. I could stick a wolf down there. 
It would live. No, it wouldn't. Eh, let's just take the four damage. Because it'll only be two, realistically. Kind of. Yeah. Alright. Bad run. I'm in a very bad run. Uh, it's me and scary. But yeah. Okay, if neither of us plays any new cards, <laughs> we can just carry on like this forever. Squirrel goes down. Here comes me. This is more like it. Ding! Du -du -du. <laughs> Bullfrog, yes! Okay. Sacrifice me. I never die. We're gonna go here. Yes. Oof. All right. Just get a new card, but then we'd have to sacrifice something and face this, which last time was hard. So I can do this. <laughs> Let's have another low cost. Amantus! Thanks, Amantus. Let's power something up, shall we? A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all. Let's not, not stop licking their lips. We could make me a 3-4. Or we can make the weasel a 1-5. I do like the weasel. Wait a minute. Yes, the safe. Health of the stoat was enhanced by the warmth. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks so much. That's great. I love it. Two, seven, three. I'm just gonna mosey on over here. Don't worry about a thing. Whoops. <sighs> Stinkboog. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape. That iron crypt is pu- Is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. Given you bade me not to touch your things, you're being very chill about this. Click, click. <sighs> this game's fucking great, isn't it? It's brilliant. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh shit, I've got to do five I've got to do five damage. Two, three, four, five. So if I do that... <gasps> Skink. I have. I forgot that I had put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck and I'll deal with you... I'll deal you one every so often. Great. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
No, come come back. Eh, eh. Okay, let's so look at this one. Okay. Two, four, five. So if I can I can't move these back. Is there a way to reset this? Yes, there is, kind of. Ah. So that would be, because it's airborne. No, it's not airborne. So that's cancelled. It's not giving out anything. That's giving one. So then we can do that. Two, three, four. That's going to be four, isn't it? It's going to be none. What? Some guy sitting down says, dang it, every time I watch Johnny's stream, I end up buying a game. Sorry. I'm being dense here, am I? Am I being dense here? Okay, I'm doing one damage now. Two damage now. Still one. Nick Jeffrey's done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, late to the stream. I have absolutely no idea what you're doing in this game, but I love the art style. Hope everyone's having a fun day. Thank you. It's good to see you, Nick. Um, this is kind of like a sub-puzzle, to be honest. Tony Doak has done a super chat saying, what a, what a way to end a spooktober of Let's Plays in this fever dream of horror. It's bloody great. It's a... It's a for those of you just joining, it's a, it's a deck builder... But also an escape room? <gasps> now I'm doing two of five. How? One of five. None of five. Four of five. Five of five. Can't believe that took me so long. Worker ant and queen. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well, I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. <gasps> More! More puzzle! Currently getting nothing of five. That changes nothing so far. Three of five. Four of five. Four of five still. Hmm. What if I do this? Hey! Caged wolf. Interesting. What's this one then? Two of Three out of five. Two out of five. What am I not getting here? It was two of five. And I didn't ask that in a French accent, so I'm not actually asking. Just so you know. 
Okay, so that can't be moved. How interesting. Do you know what all the symbols mean? No, I don't, actually. I know that when this card is hit, it deals damage. I don't know what the skink one is. Mighty Leap, Bifurcated Strike, Trifurcated Strike, Frozen Away, Trinket Bearer, Steel Trap, Amorphous, Tidal Lock, Moonstrike, Leader, Bellist, Stinky, Ants. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants the owner has on their side of the table. Interesting. Loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil will be struck, a tail is created in its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Card bearing the sigil. Uh, Kevin Anthony has done a super chat saying, Have you played Spirit Fairer? It's the first game in a long time to make me cry with emotions. Yes, that game is wonderful and devastating and great. Um, big fan of it. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's superb. Some people have asked if I'd sort of do a Let's Play series of it, and I don't think I would because I've already played it and it's a lot, but it's a it's a delightful game. Corvus Albright is on a super chat saying, just came from Ellen's Fear Academy where it's decided that doing a Jaeger bomb before playing PT was not a good idea. Hashtag buzzkill. I mean, PT is terrifying. So, um, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to do a Jaeger bomb either in case I was sick with fear. Anyway, right, excuse me about this. Hi, ba 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 ba. You again. Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay, caged wolf. Interesting. Another friend here. Oh, look, we can just play the stink bug. Oh, no, for two binds. Okay. All right, it's going to be the classic open. Wait, what have you played? Sparrow and skunk. So we can play a squirrel here. I'd like to play the stoat here, actually. We're off. One. A bat. Mm. Hmm. I don't want to get rid of. You know what? A top deck of card, actually. Ah, oh, oh, it's me. That's good because I don't die when I'm sacrificed. It's just a cool little thing I do. Shit the bed. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to have to get on this, aren't we? Play the squirrel. Oh, wait, we can cut something up as well. Uh, none of these is great. Let's not bother. Let's, um... I'm sorry, Stoke. Play you there. Stink bug, we can play here. So you'll kill the um, sparrow, which in any case no longer does damage because you're stinky. And then I think we're good. <sighs> I 
I'm in a lot of trouble here. Please be... Oh, no. I see the way this is going. I concede? What? You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. I'll take that, because actually you're kicking my ass. I mean, one, two, three, four. I would only be able to bring it back to normal. Just to see what happens. I'm going to accept your surrender. How strange. So, those of you who are just joining us, um, this is um, ins Inscription. Excuse me. Fuck it out. Um, it is a deck building game where we are playing against a very menacing figure across the table from us who was kind of like a, a GM telling my story. Um, and on the way we add cards. Uh, if we're too bad at the game, we die. Like, as in we get dragged upstairs and murdered. <gasps> the tragic rat king. When their tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bones. Love that. The bountiful warren. It spawns a rabbit when played. We're having the rat king. So we've got a deck of cards. Cards um, have health values and uh, attack values, just like in something like Hearthstone. Um. Hmm. Um, excuse me, I'm very tired at the moment. Um, let's take an emergency squirrel. Um, but they also have uh, blood sacrifice value, so you have to play, a, uh, you have to sacrifice cards to play cards, which is interesting. My boss battles are high stake tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Thank you so much. Incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Twas the prospector! Hee-haw! Not again, the prospector. Prospector boss again. Yes, we've beaten this one before, but then we died. What is the smoke when it's at home? When it dies, I get four bones. That's pretty good. And we can play it for free. So we'll play it there. Why not? We have got a squirrel. So we can play the stoat. The pack mule. We want to kill the pack mule. So... We sacrificed the squirrel there, and then, boop, played the stoat here for the one blood sacrifice. But we also got a bone token, for those of you who are new. Um, when we killed that card, some cards can be played with bones rather than blood. And it turns out you can click on this, and that is great fun. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So now, if we play this squirrel, right, we play the wolf, if we sacrifice the smoke... We'll get four bones. Sacrifice a squirrel to pay the tithe. So many bones. I know. And then we'll play the wolf over here. Why not? Then we, we're done with our go. So we're going to ring that bell. And start attacking to tip the scale. And hopefully win the ant queen. We can't play the Ant Queen without sacrificing something. I'm actually going to do this. Oh, it's me! This is me from a previous time when I died. So this has gone... This has gone. I didn't say it's gone brilliantly, but... I don't know, actually. Still doing... Yeah, we're going to win. There we go, we won. Oh yeah, but we have to defeat him twice. I remember. There's gold in them cards. Oh, I forgot he does this. It's very annoying. G -g -g gold. I've struck gold. That's so irritating because we can't sacrifice these. Let's just draw a squirrel now. And um, I'm really sorry about this, everyone. Genuinely, little content warning. This this bit is a bit gross. It's slightly body horror-ish because we've got some pliers. And you may have noticed that damage tokens are dealt in teeth. So, put two and two together. You might want to look away now, but...
Timothy Thomas says, Hello, Johnny and Skelly Pals. Perfect stream to come home to from work. We'll start from the beginning. Hello, Timothy Thomas and Timothy Thomas in the future. Welcome back. Okie dokie. Um, we're actually just going to let this happen. Because the Bloodhound is going to give me a Boan token. A bullfrog. Hey, eh? well, that's good. Play the squirrel. We can play the bullfrog there. Do we want to play the bullfrog there? No, we don't. We'll play it there. And then we can actually use the scissors to cut up the bloodhound. Why not? Um, yeah, that'll have to do. If we can destroy the pack mule, we get all the cards it's carrying, which is great. Guess a squirrel. Now what we're going to do, play the squirrel, then we're going to wheel me out, kill the bullfrog, and the squirrel, play me. Because I do three damage, I've got two health, and when I'm sacrificed, I don't disappear. Yes, thank you, Adder. You stupid Adder. Rat King! Las Vegas. Damn it, we can't play anything. We need another squirrel card. But, oh well. That's alright. We're only going to take one damage. We dealt three, so that's alright. Now what we can do is, if we play a squirrel, that can be um, sacrificed. That's right. And I can be sacrificed, but I don't go anywhere. We've played the Rat King. That is great. And there's a couple of super stickers for me to catch up on. Goodness me. Um... Aiden Folks has done a super sticker. Oh no! Oh no! It's a little controller man or person, a little anthropomorphized um, controller, is walking along and looking very sad because one of their arms is in a sling. Looks very upset. Um, meanwhile, Silent Cobb has done a super sticker of a Shiba Inu sort of solemnly bowing, which is quite nice. Um, it looks very serious. I hope you're both okay. Those are quite somber super stickers. I appreciate them nonetheless, but goodness me. Um, <laughs> Shift Shift says, this is how I was banned from Magic the Gathering contest. Wait, is it weird that I said Rat King Las Vegas? Why does Rat King mean Las Vegas to you? I don't know. Just Rat King Las Vegas. Just sort of seemed like the right thing to say. I've got so many bone tokens. Oh my god, look. Well, that's great fun. Uh, okay. We don't want to play the Ant Queen. Because the Ant Queen has an attack value equal to the number of ants on the card. And there's only in one of them so far. Yes, here we go. We've killed the pack mule. Give me those cards. Ho oh, ho ho. Dag Nabbit. Indeed. Apparently it is a little bit strange that I think Rat King Las Vegas. Alright. Okay. We can play the Opossum, which is good. But it doesn't have the highest damage. Apparently we're doing 5 damage. So it doesn't really matter what we play, actually. Let's play the Opossum. Won't be allow you to play a card before you draw a new one. Alright. Cripes. Mantis. Opossum. This costs two bone tokens. I'm quite happy with that. Let's kill him. Womp, womp, womp. Bones, bones, bones. Teeth, teeth, teeth. Let me relight your candles. Yes, please do. Very well. You may choose a rare card. Let's see what we got. Gek. The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Pack Rat. The prudent Pack Rat never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. When a card bearing the sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as you have fewer, fewer than three items. I mean, the, the Ure Uli would be very satisfying to play, but items are fun and nice, and I like them. So we're going to do that. Pack rat. After the howling encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards.
let me see. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. Um, so, right. Um, some of you, when you came into the stream, will have seen me sort of prattling around this room. It's because it's kind of like an escape room. We found the combination to this safe, and then we found a key which led us to this. Um, and these are puzzles, of which I still haven't finished this one, because I need to be doing five damage. Um, so that gives me one damage. This makes it two, because I'm not attacking that. I can't move that, which is irritating. But if I move that one up, I'm, no, I'm still only up to two damage. Now I'm up to three damage. Two damage. Two damage. I'm not sure how to get these final two points, you know. And it's vaguely irritating. Um. <gasps> oh, I did it! <laughs> Never mind. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. It's terrifying. In time, you will understand its power. Hail Skaven Blight. Ah, oh, we did it. Entirely by accident, mostly. Great, so we've done all these. Because, look, we can open the drawers, but we've already taken everything out of them. I love this. I don't know what I'm meant to put in here just yet, but we'll find out. And then one day we'll get a hammer and we'll smash our way to freedom. But for now, we'll continue on with our adventure. Titan Uranus has done a uh, super chat saying, Surely the pack rat is from Las Vegas. Oh, yeah, of course. Pack rat, Las Vegas. Barry Las Vegas. Aiden Folk says, This is from the people behind Pony Island. Oh, no. Well. Okay. Squirrel Totem says, Stick Gian Sage. Totem? Totem? Let's have an adder. I bloody love an adder. That would be great. It's a little expensive, and the river otter is a fun thing, but we've not had an adder yet, so we'll take that. Because the adder, being a uh, venomous snake, um, we'll kill whatever card it hits. Now, now, now. Do we want bone tokens? Not really, because we earn them at a rate. Anyhow. An extra squirrel never hurts, does it? Oh, uh, let's have the you're going to skip your next go card. And then a second extra squirrel? Why not? Treat ourselves. Let's go fight. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. All right, so we got squirrel, la 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 la, ant queen. What have we got here? Kingfish gag. They're annoying because they hide under water during my turn. We don't have any bone tokens to play the. So we could play the ant queen, or could we? Actually, no. No, we can't. Oh, we could if we... Let's get an emergency squirrel. Okay. Squirrel. Squirrel. Now, adder or ant queen? Adder or ant queen? Ant queen. And now we can play the stink bug. <gasps> A worker ant! Oh, of course. We can just do that, can't we? Let's play the stink bug. I'm actually going to play the second emergency squirrel so we can get that worker ant on the deck because they power each other up. Look. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand, sure, but also the value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table, which is currently two. Josephine of Undeadberg has had a negative COVID test. Congratulations. Uh -huh. 
I wasn't expecting a turn one win, but I'll absolutely take that. I don't know what this this symbol does, so we're going to go to it. Oh, it's a bear trap. Yes. Oh, of course, it's... I've the most exquisite pelts. I don't think I've got any money. Oh, I have. I've got loads. They're first and three. Then we're going to take a rabbit, a wolf. Can we afford the... No, you'll need more teeth for that one. All right, that's fine. We got some pelts. Much appreciated. For those of you who are tuning in late, um, or rather, didn't catch the start of the stream, there is no such thing as being late to one of these streams. You turn up whenever you damn well please. Um, the pelts are going to gum up my deck a bit. They're going to block lanes, which can be useful, but they can't be sacrificed, and they will not do damage. Um, but later on I can sell them for better cards. Ugh. So, here we go. Bag. Uh, oh, the black goat. I love that card. Uh, we'll take the scissors. Thank you. Alright, now this... The last time we did one of these encounters, I lost. So that's not good. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Oh, there's the pack rat look. Okay, so let's see. So, okay, here's what we're going to do. We'll play the squirrel. What's that? A couple of bees. Just a couple of bees, mate. Uh, we are going to break out the black goat. We're going to sacrifice a squirrel to play the black goat. Why are we sacrificing a squirrel to play a card that does no damage? It's because of this symbol. Where they sacrifice, a card bearing the sigil is counted as three blood rather than one when sacrificed. So, unless I've read this incorrectly, we should be able to just play the, pla the back rat, and then we should have a blood left over. No? Okay, that's annoying. Oh, but look. We played the pack rat, so we got a random squirrel. So that's good. So actually we're gonna we're just gonna go I'm gonna rush rush deck this. And we're gonna play the opossum here because we've got the bone tokens for it. And then ring a ding ding, let's do five damage. Four damage. Fuck off bees. There's another there's another well there's a rat king. Interesting. Hmm. Do I want to sacrifice anything for this, though? No. No, I don't. Let's just do... Let's kill a bee. Oh, we're going to kill two bees. And then we're going to be one card away from winning. Less now. Fewer! Fewer! I think we can just win. Pretty sure we can just win. Let's top deck something just for fun. Mantis. Ah, oh, see, the Mantis is interesting. Kind of. So if we played the Mantis here, or the pack rat is, it would attack here and here and do two damage. We don't need to play it. So we won't. Let's just... Bing, bing, bing. We have won. Phew. Right, one sec. I'm just going to approve a couple of chat messages. There we go. Killed two bees with one stoat. I appreciate that joke, Tuesday Forever. Although your username is alarming because Tuesday is my least favourite day of the week and has been for a very long time. What is this? You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. This seems fine. Fuck! The strange beast lurked within. It spoke, past one of my trials, and I will be yours, in a raspy voice. Oh, excuse me. It spoke, past one of my trials, and I will be yours, in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. Okay. The trial of bones. This, no, we're not going to do this. The three drawn cards must cost at least five. Oh, wait. Trial of Wisdom must have at least three sigils. 
at least six health combines to pass. We're going to try this one. Let the, let the trial of health begin. Six from the Kedge Wolf, one from the Adder, and two from the Wolf Belt. You've passed the trial. The beast revealed itself. It was... Beehive, River Otter, or Rattler. Stinky Rattler. Uh, we're going to take this River Otter that will also give us an item when it's played. I think. What's the Beehive do again? Bees within. Once this card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. One health, one power. Airborne. What is that? No, I just, I'm just i going to take the River Otter. The inhabited River Otter joined your menagerie. That's fun, isn't it? Well then, uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We will um, go to this campfire. Let one of our creatures get warm by the fire. Ten hungry eyes dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire. Enhance its health, said one. Pick something else. All right, fucking hell. Enhance its health. I could enhance my own health. Could make that river otter a bit hardier. Could make the pack rat a bit better. Or a worker ant. The ant queen getting hardier. Oh, I don't know. Let's choose the Ant Queen. The Ant Queen is going to get warmed by the fire. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your Ant Queen. Well, now that we've been to a lovely campfire and we've given our Ant Queen card a little rest, I think we should have a little rest. Or should I say break? We're going to take a... Um, uh, we're going to take a 7 to 10 minute break today actually solely because I need to nip to the shop around the corner uh, and I just want to make sure that you're you're expecting that so yeah it's uh, 2 minutes past 6 so we'll be back at 12 minutes past 6 at the very latest um, well or, or 10 minutes after we go to the be right back screen because uh these seven to ten minutes are yours to do whatever you will with them do you are you thirsty do you need to stretch are you warm enough are you comfortable is there anything uh that you need to do quickly in order to uh, ensure that you can continue enjoying this stream if indeed you are enjoying it go do those things if you're not going to do any of that um you can just stay here I'm going to put us on the Be Right Back screen, which is a picture of my beautiful dog, uh, and some smooth jazz. And uh, while you're there, uh, why not just click click the like button? Maybe maybe drop a like. That would be nice if you wanted to. There is no pressure. So, um, yeah, Be Right Back. Catch you in a bit. So long, everybody. Mm.
Look at that. Nine minutes. Nine minute break. Bang. Hooray. I don't know why I'm pleased with myself. I went away for nine minutes. Hello, I'm back. Um, hi, uh, it is me. I am Johnny Chiodini. Um, uh, and this is uh, uh, <laughs> encryption. I'm so tired. I don't know why. I got a good night's sleep. Um, but yes, uh, uh, this is a very, very, very good game that I hadn't played before the start of this stream. So it's still quite early game as far as I can tell. Uh, it's a deck builder slash sort of card playing battle -y type thing. Bloody love it. Uh, oh wait, hang on a minute. Uh, la, 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 da, 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 da. Apparently there's a typo in the... Oh yeah, I cannot spell in, in encryption. Inscription. Inscript. Encryption. There we go. Encryption. In fairness, I did think it was called in... Oh, it is called inscription. Shit. Here's inscription. Spooky deck building fun from Devolver. Yeah, there is no... There is no typo in the... Anyway. <laughs> right. Anyway, <laughs> let's carry on. Oh. <sighs> Uh, yeah, so, um, I'll just show you the game. <laughs> My power of speech has just gone... Pfft. Right, here we go. So, what have you played? Next next turn, we're going to get a Kingfisher, a Kingfisher, and a Coyote from the big bad eye boogie boogie man, or person who lives on the other side of the table. Uh, how many items do we have? We've got two. What does the skink do again? When a scabber is will be struck a tail as crazy as it's placed in a card bearing the scissor moves to the right. Well, let's do that. So we're going to play a squirrel here. Then we're going to sacrifice it to play this skink. Skinky. Uh, we don't want to play this wolf pelt right now. But we could play it actually. Yes, let's. We're going to play the wolf pelt here. Because the coyote will attack. And that will soak up the damage. And get it out of my hand. The Y and the P are flipped. Oh, there is a typo. Inscription. Encryption. Oh, it doesn't look right, yeah. Inscription. Inscription. Live. Great. Two hours and 17 minutes into the stream, and I finally corrected the title. Excellent. Good. Just goes to show that really anyone can become a content creator on YouTube. All right, so, ouch. Uh, we took some damage there from the from the kingfishers. That's right. Oh crap! Shouldn't have played the skink there because it's never going to get hit. Not while that's around. Okay, well that's all right. So we got a river otter. We could play the river. Let's play the river otter now by drawing a squirrel, playing it, sacrificing it. Play the river otter there. And we get a free item, which is... Oh, yeah, we can... Oh, shit! Oh, no, wait, that's... Oh, is that useful? No, that's bad. I didn't want to do that. Uh... Shit. Because that river otter was going to kill the coyote. But now it's got airborne for its next turn. You know what? We're just going to make our opponents skip their next turn. Um... Because, yeah, the river otter would have killed the coyote, but now the river otter is going to fly over the top of the coyote and hit our opponent in the face. But that's okay. I'm obligated to pass. Yes, you are, because I made you. Let's just grab this. It's me! It's a me! Fucking hell. Um, <laughs> there, there's me, the me card. I could sacrifice both of these right now to deal three damage. One, two, three. It wouldn't be enough to do a killing. Although the me card... I'm, I'm going to leave it for now. Right, now we've killed the coyote. Yeah, alright. Maybe we should. Maybe we should sacrifice something. You know what? The skink... I misplayed the skink. Because uh, it's never going to get hit. So, I'm going to sacrifice that and that. Play me there. Womp womp. Close to winning. 
But not really. <laughs> Please be a... Greetings! <laughs> Hello! Oh, we can play you because you've got bone tokens. That's great. Uh, right, we should win now. Nick Jeffrey has done another super chat saying, Anyone can be a content creator on YouTube. I, for one, am content to let you be the creator on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, Addy, are you okay? He says, why are they a card? I am a card, Addy, because I died earlier. Um, and in dying, you get to make a card as a memento. I'll probably die again before the stream is out, so you can see the process. So this is a beehive. Bees within. River snapper. The stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defence. It is good. And the warren. I kind of intrigued by the the Warren. We've not had this yet. Let's get the Warren. I uh, I feel a little um, a little bad for anyone joining from Ellen's Fear Academy, to be honest, because this is going to be quite confusing to you. But I will do my best to explain. Right now, we're allowed to choose items. Uh, we're going to take the Black Goat because it's a fantastic card. Another black goat? Yes, please. The black goat, I'll show you when we play it, but it helps me to play cards, and it's good. And I think, against this boss, it's going to be quite useful. The smoke. So, right. Here we go. The mud, mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. Damn right it did. Um, those candles... Ordinarily, let's take the ring pull off this before we have another moustache disaster. Um, those candles... Hi Luna, come here, come here. Come on, you're a black cat, it's a Halloween stream, it's very scary. Come here. Come here. Hello. I'll explain the candles in a minute. First, here is Luna. Oh, it's alright girl. Luna is ten. Luna is the one you hear screaming. Luna is not that content to be in my hands right now, but um, she also ragdolls, so she doesn't have much choice in the matter. Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? What are you creaching for? Hmm? Meh. She is good cat. Can you hear her purring? Well, this is the stream now. <laughs> Nick Jeffrey says, forget the candles, explain the cat. Luna is a half Siamese. She was part of an oops letter when a pedigree Siamese cat that a friend of a friend owned got out and got knocked up. So uh, she is, as you can see, Black with little socks and a little tuxedo. But because you because she's half Siamese, firstly she has that trademark yowl. And also, hello, she's uh they're sort of bred to be companion cats. So when they ragdoll, what I mean is you pick her up and she just goes limp. Like, hang on. See? Yeah, I know, buddy. So that's Luna, who has had enough of my shit now. Go on then. Good girl. West Coast Weaver has done a super chat just to say, Kitty! Thank you. Right. Aw, Sammy Joy says Molly is now rubbing her face on the TV. Does she have the kinked tail? I don't think she has a kinked tail. Watson's got a kinked tail, but Watson's a dog. Um, Okie dokie. So, anyway, right, the candles. Ordinarily, I've got two lives, but this is a boss fight, so the boss has two, two lives and I have one. Boo. Uh, but it has allowed me to keep the smoke. A rank odour cause your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. Ah, oh, fuck this boss. I hate this guy. A huge man approached. This guy is hard. Go fish. This guy's got a hook. He likes to take my cards. It's annoying. 
So what we actually kind of want to do here... What is the smoke? The smoke. When it dies, I get four bone tokens. That's pretty great. I'll tell you what I can do. Yeah, this will work. This will work. Okay, so we're going to play the smoke. You're going to play a kingfish, are you? Um, Dean Wannell has done a super chat saying, Good morning, brackets, 4.19am from Australia. Johnny, thanks for being the legend you are. We love you. Also, Luna is absolutely adorable. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Um, good morning indeed to you. Uh, and Nick Jeffrey has done a super sticker of a Shiba Inu kind of like giving it a really jazzy dance with hearts coming out of its butt. I think those are coming out of its butt. Inking Violet says, my spot cat just got very confused by another cat meowing and then upset I wasn't paying attention and smacked my face. Ah, cats. Right, so, we've played the smoke. Now what we're going to do is crack out the black goat. If we sacrifice the smoke, we get bone tokens, which is good, and we can play the black goat. This hook, however, means that whenever we play a card, he gets very interested in stealing it. So what I think we can do, just to get damage on the deck, do we want to play the wolf over the pack rat? I wouldn't mind another item. Let's do that. I'm going to play the pack rat here. We've got another black goat. That's amazing! Now we're going to play a squirrel. And I think... Oh wait, he's not taking anything of mine this turn, is he? I'm still going to play it safe, just in case. Ow. Ow! Okay, so he wants my pack rat right now, but if we play something newer, he'll be satisfied. So, I'm going to take the squirrel. We've got another wolf. Oh no, we didn't play the wolf before. Okay, so what we're going to do... Let's break out the black goat again. We're going to go black goat on squirrel. <laughs> this is so weird. Then play the wolf to get some damage out there. And then to prevent the fisherman from taking my wolf, I'm going to play a useless squirrel and let him keep it. Oh, I've won. Oh, only halfway won. But this is going well. Go fish, he says. What are these? Bait bucket, bait bucket, bait bucket. That is strange. I'm going to draw another squirrel card. Right. Yeah, this is what we'll do. Then we'll sacrifice this squirrel to play the river otter. He doesn't seem to want any of my cards again, though. I'm going to play the squirrel here just in case. Great white? Shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, that's very bad, and they hide during their turn. I'm gonna lose! This is awful! I, all I can draw is a squirrel? Wait, wait, scissors, scissors, scissors. And what is that? That's bone tokens. Scissors. Cut up one of these. Cut that one up. Shit. God, that's bad. Ah, oh, man, I draw a card at the beginning of my turn. Okay, if I survive this turn, which I think I... should... Fuck. I lost. Does that mean I'm dead? I think that means I'm dead. Huh. Go fish. Go fish yourself. Oh! No, that's deep. Bugger. Well, that's, that was a learning experience, wasn't it? So, I'm now being dragged out of the room. So, uh, Addy, if you're still watching, this is how the Johnny card came up. Hold still. Where did I put that camera of mine? 
Who's there? <gasps> Can I take a picture of you? Pathetic. Do you really think I would leave film in there? Damn it. You have no idea what that camera is capable of. Give me that. Oh, you're mean. We have a memento to create. So, behold your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Choose a card to draw the cost from. The wolf pelt, probably. Cost of free from the wolf pelt. Yes. Use its power and the health, the numbers. We'll choose the pack rat. Two power and two health from the pack rat. I'll choose a card from which we'll extract the sigils. I think we should take the river otter, because that means that we hide and cannot be killed. <laughs> Some guy sitting down says, Ah! Grabby! Or oh, JW, aka Marvelous Jacket Man, says, Better luck next time. Chum. Very good. Well, you come down here and chum some of this shit. Sigil of a waterborne and a sigil of a trinket bearer from the River Otter. Yes, please. I never did ask you your name. We've already got a Johnny card in there. What do we call this one? Simon? Don't really want to call it Simon. Um. Uh, Bradley Taylor says bifurcated strike seems like it would be super strong. It probably would have been. Oh, Casimir, that's a nice idea. Casimir. Aqualad, says Russell Roberts. Oh, I wish I'd gone with Aqualad now. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. I'm not calling it Watson or Luna. I'm not sacrificing my lovely pets. Uh, Kyla Paracek says, do you get to keep all death cards? I think so. I think Johnny will stay in the deck. I stand by chat as the name. Damn, that would have been good. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? To be impaled on the angler's hook like the one who came before? We're off again. Seems like the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. What is what? Right? Okay, we're off again. Watson, what are you doing? <whistles> Hear suspicious noises. Hello? Are you bothering a cat? You may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must decide on a tribe that you prefer. Oh, wow. Ugh, insects. Ooh, birds. Mmm, stag. Let's go for the crow. I love crows. Raven, a randomly chosen bird card. Do you wish for something else? Did you wish for something else? Well, maybe. Ravens are fun. I don't know. Alright, what is this now? An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. Log lady! She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings and gestured at them brusquely. Oh, we found this earlier and it said, until you've met her, this will be useless. Curious. Curious. Choose. Oh, so I can screw this head onto here to make a totem. So that is... has bees. <laughs> this is airborne. I like this one. This is... Powers up after a tour. That was horrible. Sorry. Jack Wood says, Her log has something to tell you. It does.
The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. Totem? The fledgling sigil would now be marked up on all your squirrel creatures. Ah, shit. That's not very useful. Unless it is. We'll see. I mean, you can play a squirrel for free, so if it can survive a turn and then start doing damage, that'd be kind of fun. Anyway, let's go fight someone. Okay. So what are you playing? Wolf cub. Caged wolf. The stoat seems different. Weird. Okay. Well, we can play the stoat. We know we can do that. I really regret. I didn't realise it would be my... Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Shut up. Oh, actually, you could have killed the wolf cub. Oh, well. Could play the emergency... Ooh, it's so groovy. Could play the emergency squirrel and sacrifice the stoat to play the raven? No, because the raven's airborne. It wouldn't do anything. Oh, well, we're going to take a damage from the wolf cub. So it goes. That's fine. Oh, actually... If we play this squirrel here... It's going to give it a chance to power up. It's a bit of fun. Uh, Elder Squirrel! Yay! Elder Squirrel, you're great. I am going to kill you, though, so I can play a raven. Or am I? I'm going to kill something. Yeah, I'm going to play the caged wolf over <laughs> here. Alpha? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Creatures adjacent to a card bearing this sigil gain one power. Well, I wish I hadn't done this. Um. Okay, well, it's not played yet. Oh, no, it is. But that's good. No, it's not. It's really bad. You didn't take damage off... Th oh, you're airborne. Of course you're airborne. I'm stupid. Shit, this is bad. This is very bad. And I shouldn't have drawn a squirrel. Okay. Oh, sorry about this. I should have warned you. Okay, we've pulled a tooth. Nick Jeffrey's done another super chat saying, What's the difference between a weasel and a stoat? A weasel is weaselly identified, and a stoat is totally different. I'll get my coat. As long as it's not made from weasel or stoat fur, it's fine. Okay. The, we're, in bad, we're in a bad way here. Yeah, we're going to lose. I think that's just what's going to happen. Because that's airborne. Yeah, that was... I've bollocks this right up, haven't I? We'll do it anyway. We'll play the... Oh, we don't want to play the raven anyway. Oh, fuck it. Can't draw blood from a caged wolf. Poetic. Um. Yeah, well, so it goes. We lose. Snuffed out one of our lives. Titan Uranus says alpha wolves are a myth. Yes, indeed. Um, they were observing wolves in captivity when they uh, came up with that theory, and the dude who came up with the whole alpha wolf pack mentality thing has spent the rest of his life trying to, um, you know, having disproven it, trying to get people to bloody listen. But people are still like, I'm an alpha, la 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 la. Okay. What is this now? You crocodile. Let's try this. Skink. Oh, here we go. Moves over one attack, leaving its tail behind. Okay, we've got a skink now. What is this? I feel like I'm doing badly this run. <gasps> Bones of the ancient woman grown, creaked and groaned as she approached, gently shaking how she placed her offerings before you. Hello? Bird cards can be. <gasps> Bird cards can become unsacri- well, they won't die when sacrificed, which is great. Or they can give us lots of bone tokens, but we don't really have many bone token cards in our deck. So, we take this. Oh. Oh, I wasn't being given that choice. Okay, well now all my bird cards can- yes, great. 
Ooh, that's my totem now. Fine. Right, we're going to go this way because these fights are hard. That caged wolf, he hit that for a reason. The card seems useless, but I think there's more to it. I agree. Lucky draw. <laughs> I love that. Lucky draw. <laughs> this goes great. So that's a boulder, eh? In it. Look at that. That's a bloody boulder. If ever I've seen one. Uh, let's see now. There's a skunk, but that's going to be up against the grand fur, so not worried about that. The sparrow. It's going to do airborne damage, but it is susceptible to being smashed in the face by a stoat. So we're going to do that. Play you there. Back on the board. We don't have enough bone tokens yet to play the stink bug. This is going to be fine. Hannah Axelson says, Do you have any special techniques for taking care of your skink? You know, a skink care routine. <laughs> Very good. Okay. I'm just going to draw a squirrel. I don't think I actually want to play anything this turn. Yeah, let's not. A bat. Oh shit, I didn't see the bat. Oh no, that was bad. All right, let's see what we got. Caged wolf. I needed something that wasn't that. Shit. Okay. Well, here's the good news. We play that. And the raven can fly. So if we sacrifice that... I'm sorry about it, Stoke. Play the raven there. It's going to do better damage. And we can play the stink bug here, which will kill the bat... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Bing a ding a ding. All right, we're still in this. Elder Raven, yes. Skink. <laughs> Hi, Loons. Hi, what do you want? Oh, no. Is that true? Really? Oh, gosh. Uh, come here. Come here. Now imagine this at uh, 4 a.m. Ryan Stewart says, Johnny, your Waluigi impression is life itself. Luna. Wow. Waluigi. Come here. Come here. Look, what do you want? Come here. Come on. I will cuddle you if you come here. It, sorry about this. Yeah, I... Well, you're not actually coming close. Come on. All right, you leaving? Are you leaving? Are we, are we doing this? Oh. <sighs> I don't know what she wants. <sighs> okay, skink. We could sacrifice the stank bug, but I don't want to. Uh, we're only going to take one damage off the sparrow. We can hold out for another turn. There we go. See? See, we're still winning. We're still winning. It's still good. All right. Squirrel. Play the squirrel. Play the skink. What do you want, cat? Probably feeding, but it's not food time. West Coast Weaver says, People are always raving about your streams, and I totally believe the chat is a big part of that. Take that, random person in the road. Let's get a new card. What have we got? Kingfisher! A slippery hunter. The kingfishers are annoying. Raven Rat King. We're going to get the kingfisher because it will become an elder kingfisher, thanks to our totem. And uh, it, it can hide and stuff. Nick Jeffrey says, Johnny, would you cuddle us if we meowed at you? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> no offence. But I've lived with that cat for... God, how many years now? Seven? Seven years? No, surely not seven. Yeah. God, coming up on eight. 
Wow. Huh. Yeah, coming up on eight years. So no, she's... You know. She gets cuddle privileges. <laughs> Do what you must. Stop this. Oh, you don't like being by the fire? Oh, no. Okay, we can upgrade the power of something. Let's upgrade the Kingfisher right now. So then it'll be an older Kingfisher that can absolutely kick ass. Sammy Jai says, I am about to go to an actual pub and see my friends in person for the first time since December 2019. I am equal parts terrified and excited. Wish me luck. Good luck, Sammy Jai. Um, I, I hope you have a lovely, lovely time. It's all right that it, you know, it might be a little bit uh, overwhelming, but, you know, you're going to be among friends. Don't forget, you can just stop for a minute and have a glass of water and just, you know, chill. So I hope you have a bloody great time. Um, and I'm sure once you're in there, it will be far less scary. You suspect the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. Your kingfisher and tell you retreat into the woods. Thanks for warming up my kingfisher. Okay. Yes, kingfisher. <laughs> Luna, please. So I actually do want the skink to... Not the alpha, bloody alpha. Oh, that's annoying. That alpha is... Mm, it's no joke. But also, the only thing I have that can do direct damage is this skink. So I'm going to play the squirrel. Play the skink here. Skink will take out the coyote next turn. Or will it die? It won't die, it'll move over. Eh... Whatever happens, happens. Bing -a -ding -a -ding. A wriggling tail. It's hard to call it cowardly. Ow! Damn. Okay. Squirrel. Squirrel. Squirrel goes here. Kingfisher goes here. You got any items? No. Um, but the boulder doesn't attack. Oh, the boulder doesn't attack because the alpha. Of course it does. Shit. Shit. Oh no, it's fine because it hides. But I'm going to take four damage. One, two, three, four. I'm in trouble. But it is what it is. Oh, that's bad. I might be dead. Am I dead? <sighs> Fucking nearly, aren't I? Alright, caged wolf. That won't help. This is so bad. Okay, we're gonna do three damage. So... Why can't I see the bloody scales? Oh well. I'm just gonna have to try and top deck something. Good. Me again! <laughs> Hiya! I think we've lost. I think we might have lost. I don't know. Yeah, we lost. Ah, shit. So early? I'm sorry, everybody. Alas, it is time for you to perish. <sighs> Again. Can't believe the boulder attacked me. That didn't feel like a good run. That really didn't feel like a good run, funnily enough. Your death card. Let us begin. What's the cost? One. Now the numbers. Two and three. Not bad. And yes, we'll take the stuff from the Kingfisher. We're going to call this one chat. <laughs> we didn't even see the last card, whatever I called it. Death awaits. Snap, snap. Titan Uranus says they need nice hands. Yeah, I agree. No grabby. S. Kirk Rejects, or Skirk Rejects, says, uh, Hey, just join the stream. How are you enjoying it, Johnny? I love this. It is great. Click. Um, 
I just died astonishingly quickly, but it's bloody great. Thunder Cookie says, Yay, we're a card! I will try not to sacrifice you. I had such high hopes for that last one. Why do I bother trying to teach you? You, you will learn as we go, or you will die. Whee! You want that caged wolf in your deck? Suit yourself. I don't want the caged wolf in my deck, to be honest. Okay, here we go. What is this still again? Oh, that just adds a random card from a different school. Let's let's choose this time. Hmm, I don't recall making that one. Bell ring. Oh, we're taking that, whatever that is. That's a crumb of story, isn't it? We've got some items, so we may as well go this way. I can't remember what this does. Ah, yes. It's the woodcarver. She moved with a certain vigour, in spite of her considerable age. All my squirrels, well, no. Who is this? No. I don't want Sprinter. I don't want Waterborne. So why do we need Waterborne squirrels? Let's just take the bird head. We could have made a totem there, I guess. Oh well. Chaos says, Chaos says I'm going to make the pitch now for the next card to be called Swedish Sailor. Alright, I'm in. We're doing it. Fine. Oh god. These ones are hard. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Squ squirrel? Whatever this is. Uh, Stoat, Bullfrog. I think what we should do immediately. Bloody skunk. Bloody sparrow. I just want to know what it does. I want to know what it does. We're playing a squirrel here. We're playing a squirrel here. We're taking this card. We're going womp, womp. We're playing it there. Oh, I think its power increases based on the number of times the bell has rung, maybe. Now we may play the stoat, which is good. So stoat can start hurting the sparrow. Or we could play the bullfrog. Let's play the bullfrog. The bullfrog will stop that sparrow doing me damage this turn, which is good. Oh no, it isn't that. I don't know what the bell thing does. Bell ring! What do you mean? Oh, maybe it's to do with the number of... Maybe if I play that later. I don't know. Who knows? It's probably if I played that later it would have been worth more. Curses. Oh well. Right. Now we can play a squirrel here. Play a stoat here. That sparrow's gonna die. Total misplay. Fuck you. A wolf in a cage. But how to break it? Will we let other people hear it? Silly. Well, this is great. These two are at odds forever. Ding a ding. Jacob M says, I swear the stoat used to look more like a stoat. I agree. It's changed. And that's weird. Trapper time. My, my pelts are clean. Have a free one. Great, because it's the only one I can afford. You'll need more teeth for that one. Okay. Sarah Burke says, My dog has gone to sleep listening to this stream. I hope the dog has sweet dreams. Uh, that's a wood carving lady again. Yeah, fuck it. Let's make... Oh, no, that means we're going up against another hard person. Oh, right, all right, all right. You came upon the old wood carver. La, 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 la. Okay. Yes, pl Yeah, we're doing this. So now... All of our bird cards are deadly. Oh wait, but all of our bird cards are, are fucking airborne. Ah oh, well. I mean, squirrels can't attack unless I do something for them, so that's fine. Um, right. With any luck, we'll be able to play the caged wolf and get 
it out because um, it certainly feels like it wants us to do that, hey? But this time what we'll do is start off with the stoat, who is definitely changing. What is happening to the stoat, please? Back on the board. Ding. <laughs> okay. We can play the bullfrog. Let's do that. Play the bullfrog here. That'll prevent one damage. And also hurt the sparrow. Right. See you later, Watson. Gaz Sharp has done a super chat saying hello for the first time in a while. I have no idea what's going on, so um, have a pint on me. Thank you very much, Gaz. Um, this game is esoteric, to say the least, but it is very, very good um, thus far. I'm a big old fucking big fan. Big, big fan. It's a deck builder slash creepy creep fest. <laughs> Best way I can describe it, I'm not gonna lie. In the top deck, something else. The caged wolf, there you are. But nothing is gonna break you out because all of all of those are airborne. Goodness me. Everyone speculating as to what the uh, stoat means now. I know. It's uh, creepy, isn't it? Hmm, just thinking about that wolf. I know, I know you are, but I literally, nothing's going to break him out of there. All right? So, you can just shut up. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. I'm, I want to test a theory now. So what I'm going to do, you have me here, I surrender. No! I'm going to carry on. I'm going to play the squirrel. Then I want to sacrifice the stink bug and the squirrel. Yes. It's how many times you've rung the bell. So it's good to keep that back. That's very nice. Let's play a rabbit pelt for fun. Why not? Done. Now, let's see. Let's try this way. Why not? Bit of fun. Another low cost would probably be good. He has to. Oh! Oh! I drew me! Look! There's me from a previous run. All right. Let's get some items if we're eligible. Boulder. Black goat. Oh! oh. Hello. Always pick black goat. I'm going to take another pliers, even though it's horrible. Alright. I hate the alpha. So, we're going to play the black goat. We're going to go squirrel. Then play black goat. There. And then we're going to play, I'm going to sacrifice that to play me here. And then can we, no we can't. And we're going to ring that bell. One, two, three. Out. Squirrel card. Play the stoat. The stoat looks so un... well. Yes, I'm sure. That's where I want to play it. Jerk off. Hmm. Grab a squirrel. Ring the bell. Hmm. Fuck it. Grab a squirrel. Play it there. Play it there. Ah, I forgot. 
I'm, um, I don't give any, uh, I don't disappear when I'm sacrificed. That's annoying. Oh, well, we're going to do loads of damage now. Ding, we won. Okay. We should go this way. So yeah, Matra757 has made a very good point. Um, let's get another... Yeah, let's get another... Cockroach, eh? Um, another bone card. Um, the scales in this game are weighted by teeth. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, they're the indicator of uh, how much damage you've done. Um, there is an item called pliers. You can use that to add weight to the scales. It is quite grisly. It's not super grisly. It's not super gory, but it is like the first time it happened, I was surprised. And if you find teeth scary in that way, then um, I will I will warn you before I use them. I promise. Right, we can up the health of something. Okay, he doesn't want to be at the fire. Can make the cockroach. Let's do that, because the cockroach comes back into my hand every time it's killed. Oh, no, it costs four bones to... Yes, do it. Yep. Okay. Okay, 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 Alright, survivors want to eat the cockroach. Here we go. Let's take on that prospector, shall we? Teeth, 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 says Jackwood. Never a true word spoken. All right, so we got one life. They've got two. A chill mist is closed in around us. Here comes the prospector. Stand in the way, O oh me gold. Be darned. Okay. Something about that caged what I fucking know! All right. Where is literally anything that does direct damage? Okay, so, right, here we go. We're going to play the smoke, and we're going to play the squirrel. Then we're going to play the caged wolf. It's going to go here. And then because we've got four bone tokens, we can play the stink bug. We're going to play the stink bug here, I think. There we go, we've done a damage. We're off, everybody. Then we're going to play a squirrel, so we can play the bullfrog. The good news is there's an adder there, which means this boulder is about to be destroyed. A cockroach, and we have just enough to play it. That's going to kill the adder. It's going all right, isn't it? <gasps> My goodness! The it's been uncaged! Who would have guessed? What was that? That's just top deck of card. It's you, is it? Well, I mean, I think it's worth doing this. Then I'll. Then I can play this here, and I can replay the cockroach because I can. Ding! I should have played it there. Whoops! That coyote is going to bite me. Oh well. Oopsie! That was a bad move, actually. Rabbit pelt. That's awful. But we've killed the pack mule. Which means we're going to get plenty of cards. What the fuck? Turkey vulture? My mule! And her pack! Ooh, shit! Okay, so elk fawn. Rat king. Turkey vulture. Oh, Christ. We're not doing very well. Okay. Squirrel. I'll draw a card. Whoopsie. Hurry! we have left to... So we could sacrifice the cockroach, so that's fine. So actually, let's draw one of these. Easy, boss. Just pop that mule. We already popped the mule. 
Okay. Squirrel goes down so that we can play the elk fawn, which goes there. And then... If we play the stoat and sacrifice the cockroach... Yes, that position, I am sure. Then we can play the cockroach again, but here. So that's going to soak that damage. That will kill the coyote. The wolf cub isn't in yet. This will work. What does the elk form turn into? An elk. <laughs> <laughs> I really got myself with that one. Oh, Nelly. That was, yeah. I don't know what I fucking expected from that. <sighs> What's it turn into? A fucking elk. Criminy. Fucking idiot. Uh oh. That wolf's a problem. Could play the Rat King by getting rid of the stoat. Yeah, let's do it. So we're going to play a squirrel. I'm going to play the Rat King by getting rid of the stoat and the squirrel. The Rat King will kill the wolf. Okay. Now what we don't want to do... Okay, we draw, ah, we've drawn me! We don't want to play any more cards. Right now. Because once we kill this guy, he turns all of these cards to gold. Which isn't good. Although now we've got bloody loads, so we can play the turkey vulture. Turkey vulture does three. Okay, everybody, I did warn you about this. Um, I'm going to use these pliers. I'm going to use both of them. Because if I do that and play the Turkey Vulture, I'm pretty sure I can just win. So, um, yeah. A little a little warning for you. Some body horror is coming. Um, so, uh, it probably... T I mean, look away. There is also um, sound. So maybe look away for 10 or 15 seconds. And, I, and I'll, I'll play... Yeah. Look away for 15 seconds. In 3, 2... One. Okay. Is everybody back? Everybody should be back. I, I mean, personally, I think that's a, a, a genius mechanic, and I love how uh, unsteady it makes me feel. We're back. Here we go. Turkey Vulture. We're going to ring that bell. <laughs> Need a light? Yes. Your reward? Ouroboros. The Eternal Serpent. Death strengthens it forever. That's pretty great. A Gek and a Strange Light. We're taking the Oroboros. Oroboroboroboros. Jack Wood says, my teeth feel itchy now. Yeah. Free of the prospector's unhinged gaze, you looked ahead. Shift Shift says, Johnny always look Johnny is always looking for the combat multipliers. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Let me think. Okay, so we can get a new carving. We can get new items. We need items. We don't want to face off whoever this is. Oops, we need to go this way. Oh yes, we had reached the wetlands. Let's see. I'm going to have a look. Trial of blood. That's cost at least. Trial of bones. Trial of wisdom. I think we should go for the trial of blood. So this is, we're going to top deck some cards, and we have to hope that there are at least four blood tokens. Two. Fuck. Fuck! Failure. We failed the trial. Okay. Right. Let's have a look around the room. 
because... Well, well, well. Oh, the wolf is uncaged and the wolf was there in a cage. Also, take those teeth. They're for free. They're for me. <gasps> Wait a minute. I remember. I remember. There's something that goes here. Eh. Clonk. Now we have a knife. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish you hadn't. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're horrible. You're just horrible and I don't like it. All right. Can we just go, you know, shiv him? He's horrible. I wonder what the special dagger does. I don't know what the special dagger does, though. Right. Hopefully it will become relevant at the table. We'll see. Spoon of Doom says, oh good, a knife. Okie dokie. Mabel Teacher says, right, I have to go prep for this stream. If anyone's around at 8.30 and wants to see me, chat it's on Social Distance Warriors on YouTube and Twitch. Love you, LSPs. Have fun, Mabel. Ah, the knife is also a body horror item when used. Okie dokie. Well, that's... Yep, 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 yep. Good to know. I'll take this. What the fuck? Oh, oh no, you can't use that. I don't want to use this. What is it? Oh, I took it. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. All right. That It's fine. I'm just pacing. A bit. Wait a minute. This has changed. Pronghorn Squirrel. Why did you change? Okay. That's fine. Not scary at all. Let's fight something. What are you? Nice top deck. <laughs> Love it. Bees. Bees. Well, we shall be playing a squirrel then. So that we can play a bullfrog. The stoat we will leave be for the time being. What do you do? Special dagger. You place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Right. Understood. Okay. Good to know. We can cut something up if we want to. Cut up a bee. Oh, it needs to be on the actual table first. Okay. Let's just... Yeah, we'll do a damage. That's fine. Let's see. Yeah, we'll play the stoat. Straight out there. I am sure. Stoat, I want you to eat that bee. Eat that bee! I'll play the rabbit pelt just to get it out of my bloody hand. Oh, that's going to be a mistake. There's going to be nothing that attacks. Yeah, oh well. Oroboroboros. Nothing's going to kill it, though. Oh, the mantis might. Which means it will get strong gear. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you can't sacrifice a rabbit pelt, so you're short. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll take a hit from a bee. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Oroboroboroboros. Oh, whoops. Did I mean to play it there? I've played it there now. I lost. Shit! Oh, I should have uh, should have used the knife. When will a worthy challenger appear? I agree. I'm sorry. I lost. That's bad news. Hi, chat. There you are. That card we all made together. Christ. Wowie. Okay, decrepit woodcarver. Interesting. Yes, please. Oh, no, I, that's what I wanted. Yes, please. That's another word the woodcarver was gone. <laughs> 
Car Shop says, we look glorious. Hey, there you are, chat. Let's get chat straight out there. Come on. Hello, squirrel. Chat's going to eat a squirrel. There's chat, everybody. Vivat chat. Great, great move, chat. Well done. Oh, this is awkward. Am I going to have to sacrifice chat? No, no, we won't say we won't think about chat, would we? Oh, I should have taken a bloody squirrel card. Oh well. Chat, you're doing bits here. This is great. Uh, let's see. Hi, Luna. What is it that you want? Because I just don't know with you sometimes. Oh yeah, I have to take a card. Uh, let's take a squirrel. What? A oh shit! Sorry, body horror. Body horror. Body horror. Oh, good lord. I'm very sorry. I was... Oh, Fucking hell. Well, we won. I was trying to click on the weird funny jar. Sorry, everyone. Yikes. Oh my god, and we can replace our eye. Sorry, everyone. Okay, well, let's take the glowing one. That looks fun. Oh my god. Find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. What the fuck? Spoon of Dune says, Bet you didn't see that coming. I did not. Fucking hell. Okay, we're going to go this way because I want to see what the toadstool is like. Uh, and then once we've ringworm. Ratic let's take the ringworm. I want to see what it does. Anyway, let's go see the cuckoo clock. Hello, the cuckoo clock. <laughs> cool. I love this game. It is great. Stunted. Take the film roll before he sees it. Now! What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? Oh my god. Hello! Hello, I'm doing nothing. I'm just enjoying our fun game. Where else is the paint? This is fucking great, this game. I love it. Holy shit. Ooh. I carumba, I see now, I should have known better. Oof. I saw this coming. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. find yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through a thick cloud of spores. Ah! Ooh. We are the mycologists, yes? Yes. Uh, and we are performing our experiments far from... from... We are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes? We will need two of the same creatures, one for each of us. Oh dear, you don't... You have no duplicate cards. Take one of ours, we will use it next time. Okay. Let's take this one. Oh, the bullfrog. Yeah, let's take this one. Bit of fun. See what they do. Oh, that means we've got two of them. Yeah, great. Alright, anyway. Oi, oi, oi. This is intense and great. I ought to thank you. How has it been? It has been quite bad. I am trapped. In the body of a stoat. In the paper of a card. I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. The stoat looks like a computer. Our player friend here, they already hold the key. Stunted wolf. 
Alright, it's down to both. And ringworm. And squirrel. I want to see what the ringworm does. I just do. That's what I'm doing. Playing ringworm. I suspect it's going to do something horrible to the coyote once it dies. At least that's my fervent hope. We'll see. No, it did fuck all. <laughs> okay. Well, this is fine. Because now we play the squirrel, play the stunted wolf. There. Here we are. Uh, what are you? Failure. To the user, nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. Okay. Uh, I would like to cut up this card. Uh, just for yucks. Oh, wait. I shouldn't have done it to the grand to that one. I should have done it to that one. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. Now we can play the stoat. Is it much? Is there much point playing the stoat? I'm gonna play the stoat here, I guess. Squirrel, stoat, you look like a robot, mate. What's going on? Bad play. Bad play yourself. Fuck off. Hmm. Me. Well, I don't want to. Sacrifice the stunted wolf or the stoat. They're doing some good job, some good work. So we'll just bump up. Okay, we could sacrifice the stoat because we do three damage. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be enough to win. Two, three, four, five. Yes, it would. All right, we're doing it. Squirrel. Sorry, stoat. And then ding a ling a ling. <laughs> All right. Can we beat the fisherman this time? I'm not convinced we can. I like the cockroach, but the turkey vulture came in clutch before, and we've already got a cockroach in our deck. So there we go, turkey vulture. Items, please. Black goat. Always. Always choose black goat. Absolutely choose bone tokens when you're also trying to play a turkey vulture. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. And get two lives. You beheld an immense man, so let's find a mucky pond. Chunks of flesh. La la la. Here he comes. You bring fresh fish? Is it yours? Uh, I love the fresh fish. <laughs> yes, I took the film roll. Is that correct? Yes. My plan nears its moment of truth. But you must defeat him first. Well, shit. I don't know if I can defeat him. Okay, here's the plan. Squirrel. Because he doesn't take the first turn. So, black goat goes down there. Stunted. Oh, the stunted wolf is only one. Shit. All right, Ouroboros, you're going out. That was a bit of a waste. I love. Look how goofy he looks. Okay, we play the squirrel, we play the stunted wolf, and then, to prevent the fisherman from taking that card, we're going to play the rabbit pelt. Enjoy your rabbit pelt! Silly. Hmm. Let's 
it's a wolf. We're so close! But we're not. I mean, if this keeps up, we can do it. Enjoy the squirrel, and possibly your death! Yes! Honk, honk, honk. Okay, this is where we fucked up before. Go fish. Because these are bad. This is not good. So what we want to do... Aha! 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 Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, not so good, actually, because he's probably going to... Is he going to take something? No, he's not. We kill the squirrel. We kill the stunted wolf. We play the wolf there, because he won't do the bait bucket. The Ouroboros is going to push out... Push out? It's going to... Is gonna pop out one shark. <sighs> Don't take the bait. Well done, Kyla. Um, well, we can't do anything about that, really. So we're just gonna have to let it happen. Go fish. Oh, this is bad news, actually. Actually, this is bad news? <laughs> oh, fuck. I need to, need to get that turkey vulture. Cockroach. You won't do. You are bad, and we don't want... Ah, uh, but you do do damage. <laughs> you do 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 damage, though. Hmm. How many bloody tokens have we got? One, two, six. Do we play the cockroach now? Yes, we just have to start doing more damage. That's already a shark out there. Oh, we've won. I didn't realize we were so close to winning. We've done it! We've fucking done it! We killed him! We beat him. Urgh. Choose carefully. I'll have a bait bucket, please. That card's rad. The douse. That filthy feral hog, it becomes incensed when its chimes are struck. Sounds like me. Child 13, long elk. I have no words for this freak of nature. Bellist, when a card bearing the scissors is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. Sounds weird. You considered one of the anglers' catches as a meal, but the rank odour deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Hmm, oh yes, I know. Where? Uh, a frigid gust of wind billowed, unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow fell to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line! Let's just have a quick look around, see if anything's changed. I don't think anything will have. Ah, you're so creepy! Once again, just screaming like Tina Belcher. Ah! Jimmy Jr. Ah! Right, let's go. Spoon of Doom says, Now it is you who is the one who should go fish. I agree. Right, show me some exquisite pelts. I'd bloody love to. Get them out of my deck. Corpse maggots. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. I don't hate that. It's horrible, but I don't hate it. Magpie, what do you do? When a card bearing the sigil is played, you may search your deck for any card and take it into your hand. Without a shadow of a doubt we're playing that, you have my gratitude. Thank you. Does that mean... Does that mean... Oh, fucking hell! 
we could potentially search for the, uh, the wolf. Everyone's telling me to look around the room, which, you know, I'll find, I'll, I probably will find things in my own time. But uh, I'm having a look. So there. You can't say I haven't. Did I miss something? Probably. Oh no. Jameson Edwards says, have to catch the rest on replay. I'm off to do my own seasonal horror performance. Sounds interesting. I hope it's legal. <laughs> Frozen opossum? Luna, what do you want? Let's take the frozen opossum. It sound, it, that seems cursed. Right, let's go fight someone. Shift Shift says painting. Um, like, it, I'm gonna, like, please stop giving me clues, because I'm, it's kind of, it's kind of a bit of a, a little bit of a buzzkill at this point. Um, I'd rather work things out for myself. Even if I'm bad at working it out, I'd rather just do it for me. Because looking at this, clickety click, 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 I'll get it later. Someone does say, is the door even locked? Yes, it does appear to be locked. Okay. What we got? Cockroach, a rubber, 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 ross. Squiddly diddlies. Oh no, Moosebuck. You seem bad. Hmm, we can't play anything straight off the bat. That's annoying. I'm going to take three damage straight off. Oh, the mole's annoying as well. What's the frozen opossum? Let's have a look at you. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a creature inside is released in its place. Oh, and it's free to play. Okay, so we'll do that. Bit of fun. And you'll stop the moose buck from getting in the way. I don't want to sacrifice... Oh, wait! Hang on a minute! No, with sacri sacrificing it doesn't mean that I get to break the frozen opossum out. Hmm... I actually kind of want to play squirrel, play squirrel, because it powers up every time it dies. Let's see, might just let it die to the yeah, yeah. Get back in my hand, you sweet little weirdo. Uh, let's see, cockroach can't afford you yet. Frozen opossum, you're fine. Let's draw one of these. It's a boring turn, but it'll have to do. Fucking hell. One, two. There we go. We'll play the cockroach over here anyway. Oh, I lost. Shit. painful to see. It was painful to experience, mate. Don't really want to go to the trapper again. Let's go this way. Magpie. Get another magpie. Could get another magpie. 
Could get another turkey vulture. Could get a moose buck. Moose buck. Moose buck. Let's do it. Why not? Alright, let's sacrifice something. What the fuck? Oh my god, stink bug. Why do you look like that now? <laughs> we could sacrifice Jand. I'm not going to sacrifice Jand, don't worry. I mean, I don't hate the idea of... Let's do it. A taste of my former glory. Nom, 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 nom. Hello, chat. There you are. Let's play you, eh? Right. Snowy fur. Mole man. Ugh. Moose buck again. Fucking moose buck. Alright, let's do this. Squirrel. Chat. Give him hell, chat. Okay. And then... You know, we don't need to smash that open just yet. It'll be good to know how many tokens we actually have. Let's do it. Smash, smash, smash. Should have gone with magpie. With the greatest respect, Phileas, I don't remember asking anyone. Uh, I've never played this before today, and I'm having fun just working it all out for myself. So, um, there that goes. Okay, let's top deck something. That could be worse. Chat, you're, you're absolutely smashing this. Look at you. Giving out all the damage. Bloody... Giving them hell, so you are. Oops, no, not the bullfrog, the squirrel. We'll play the bullfrog there. Why not? One, two, three, four, five, six. Shit, I think we might actually win before... We get to play the turkey vulture, which means that item will have been wasted. Tony Rainer says, what does the jarhead do? I am serious, you cannot use that. There is no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. My advice, avoid it. Well, that's interesting. That is interesting. <gasps> the nice switch says, oh yay, I got home in time for the end of the stream. Just saw Dune. Well done! The nice witch. That is an excellent use of your time, and I want to know what you thought of it. Um, DM me on Twitter. I'm intrigued by this, but uh, fuck it. Also, nice witch. I don't know if you played this, but it's brilliant. Do we kill the bullfrog in order to play the douse? But there's nothing, there's no adjacent space next to it. Oh, this is tricky. I mean, if we do that, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep, yeah, let's do it. Right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a squirrel here. We're going to... Aha! If we sacrifice the squirrel and the bullfrog, and then play the douse there, there's a chime. Ah, it won't get attacked, but... Oh, well. Now, we can play the turkey vulture. Which, and we're going to win. Are we going to win? Maybe not this turn. We won! Okay, let's get some more card. Captain Karimbo says, In a pleasing bit of symmetry, it's now time for me to leave and go watch June. Have fun! Have fun! 
Koei OG says, is the film still worth a watch if you didn't like the book? It depends why you didn't like the book, I guess. It is a very faithful recreation, but also, you know, it's a film, so it's going to feel different. Uh, I genuinely don't know. The sadistic pronghorn. Woe be to those that meet the end of its antlers. Elk Faun, the nascent faun. It quickly grows into an elk. The dauntless bloodhound. It leaps to oppose new creatures when they are played. I want the pronghorn. There we go. Survivors. Creature around the fire. Yep, yep, yep. Choose wisely. Please no. Ringworm. If you must. Turkey Vulture. The Douse. Magpie. Could buff chat. Could make chat like a 5 2. I actually think the Turkey Vulture is a good shout. Don't eat my turkey vulture. Go away. All right, let's have a f let's have a fucking fight. Koyoji says found the main character incredibly tedious. Vaguely remember the politics being interesting, but not enough to continue on with the series. I reckon it's worth a watch. Okay, ringworm, squirrel, the dolls. What are you for, ringworm? That's what I want to know. Elk fawns! Elk fawns! Fucking everywhere they are. Alright. Well, I'm actually going to play the bullfrog. Ping ping. Oh, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we, eh? Sorry about it, Bullfrog, but it's time for the dolls. Ring my bells, you little mothers. Oh, what? Fucking hell! Jesus Christ! This is bad news. Ah! Fuck. Oh, we can play a ringworm, though. Actually, that's a really good idea. <laughs> play the ringworm. At least we're going to take out the alpha. Oh, shit! Please be something free. You're a moose buck. <laughs> I think we've lost. I'm fairly sure we've lost. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, but, but, perhaps it's your death card. Beautiful. Though it could be, it could use some detail. Uh, cost of the bullfrog, obviously. The numbers from uh, the moose buck. It's a great card. <coughs> and I think we'll just put it back in. Although, bifurcated strike. Let's do that. Sprinter and bifurcated strike from the pronghorn. Never did ask your name. Lil Fasty. Any good card has a portrait. Oh, you've got the cat. No! Goodbye. Shit. Another challenger approaches. You will prove your worth in short order. What are you looking at? Nothing! Keep your eyes on me. 
Oh, yeah, Swedish sailor. Sorry, I said I'd call it that. A gift from the angler. <gasps> you see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. His hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. Oh, come on. That foul, stunted wolf. The stunted wolf looks weird. Looks very different now. You really want such a creature in your deck? The sight of it does try my temper. But it has been dealt, so it stands. Okay. Thank you. Alright, let's have a look around the room. See if anything's changed. The moose back. We've done all these. There's fuck all in these. They've not been replenished. Don't know if we were supposed to extinguish that candle. Ho 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 ho! Well, well. We're just getting more and more money out of this mouth. Oh, you're so creepy. Hey, buddy. Ah! The pain is unbearable. Even after all these years, what do you want? I have very little to live for these days. Ah, it is done. The master is free. Oh, the end must be close now. If Magnificus is free, it must be close. Who's Magnificus? Ah, watching the angler lose. <clears throat> now that soothed my pain. An old rival of mine, that fisherman. He bested me this time, but I will have another chance. Oh, I see you have a little something special up your sleeve. Fear not, I won't blow your cover. She needs to get a hold of that camera of his. Maybe if you defeated him, you would get a chance. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Very helpful bottle. Well then. It begins. Magpie. Grizzly. Your goodness. Turkey Vulture. I still like the magpie. I'm going to take the magpie. <clears throat> Let's infuse something with something else. Oh shit, that means we're going to have to have a tougher fight. Oh well. We're going to do it. Hello. Oh, we can't sacrifice the stink bug. Can we? I don't want to sacrifice any of these. Oh. Where? Am I your ch Sure? <laughs> oh, they're both keen. I'm not sure I should be doing this. <laughs> well, that... Okay. Passed without fanfare. Ah, oh, really? Hey, magpie! Meow, meow, meow! Alright, squirrel. Stoat. Go there. Because then the coyote won't attack m the stoat. But will jump in the way and get killed. So that's useful. Could also play the bullfrog. With the emergency... Yeah, why not? Why not, eh? Get a bit of a head start. Hmm. Not much of a head start. Do we want to play the magpie now? I don't think we do. No, we shall wait. Because, look, watch this. <laughs> oh, we needed the Grand Fur to die. Well, let's just top deck. We meet again. Oh, oh yeah. Forgot about the stunted wolf. Down you go. Let's fuck him up. Nearly. And done. 
Okie dokie. Let's go this way. Another wolf card. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Ah, there's a creepy. The campfire is not nice. But we can make someone more powerful. Let's see. Stoke doesn't want it. Let's make the bullfrog more powerful. Oh, yeah, there we go. Womp. Push your luck or pull away. Let's do it. One more moment? No! Yeah, let's, let's retreat, please. Fucking hell. All right, here comes another difficult encounter. Might play this last one and then wrap up for the day. Pronghorn, eh? Okie dokie, bloody pronghorn. So, what have we got? What have we got? Stoat, bullfrog, magpie. Actually, kind of want to play the stoat. I want to play it here. Well, I can't do anything about it now if I'm not sure, can I? Bloody stoat. I know that there's a grand fur there, but with a bifurcated strike. Ah, well, it's not a perfect play, but it's fine. Because that's annoying. Right, well now the bullfrog's just going to kill that, so that's good. Elk fawn coming in there. Got the hook. We've got the knife. Let's draw a card. It's not yet time for you, magpie. We shall play nothing and just do some hitting. Let's have a bit of fun, eh? Sorry about it, stoat. But uh, yeah, we're playing the magpie. Oh yeah, and we can find, we can pick a card. Let's take this one. Greetings. Yeah, and then squirrel, and then stunted wolf. Blah, 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 blah. Doesn't seem happy to have been played though. But we've won. I'm pretty sure. No, we haven't. Not yet. But soon. Wolf. All right, now we've won. Hooray! Hokey dokey. Well, well, let's do a little bit more. Let's do. This is very addictive, isn't it? Wolf cub, mole, elk phone. Let's say the elk fawn. Bit of fun. Oh sure, we. Can, I mean, you know, we can. Yeah, we'll get this one. Maybe we'll do one more fight. You know, it's fine. That ended quite quickly. Yes, please. Tokens. <laughs> yep. Okay, what we got here? Sparrows. I must trust you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Egads. Okay, well, that's a start. And then we'll play the stoat here. 
Bad play. Fuck you. But you stink, so the sparrow doesn't do any damage. That's a great play, actually, the stoat. Magpie. Do I want to sacrifice any of these? I don't think I do. Although the wolf would do a lot of damage. Oh, you know what I could do? Oh, fuck it. It's nearly the end of the stream. Let's have that sparrow. That sparrow now belongs to us, which means if we just play the squirrel and then the wolf, we can sacrifice the sparrow, which I didn't care about anyway because it wasn't mine. And then... Womp, 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 womp. It's looking all right. Eh, let's just do it again. Ta-da! That's a lot. Cool. Bones. Corpse maggots. Good times. Had by all. I think. Alright, we're going to do this last card sacrifice thing, and then that really has to be it for the day. Uh, let's see. Elk fawn. I am yours. Alright, if you're into it. If you're that keen. Let's do this, stunted wolf. Very well. Delicious. Tony Erickson has done a super chat saying, Done your palm now. Close up. All right. There you go. There's my palm. It needs a bit of a touch up. But uh, yeah, it's settling nicely. It's been four weeks now, I think. Something like that. Time flies. But yeah, um, very pleased with it. But yeah, um, right. I think with that, just before we fight the prospector, we will... Um, uh, as Gillen Borum says, cheeky little sacrifice to round out the stream. I think we're gonna we're gonna end it there. So um well done everybody. Uh that was a lot of fun. Um this game is absolutely brilliant, it turns out, and I'm very, very, very glad I played it. Uh hopefully you enjoyed it and it wasn't too confusing. You enjoyed the stream despite the occasional element of body horror. Um and I will well, I, you know, you know, you know where I am. Uh I'm on this channel. So I'll be back on Saturday with new episodes of Press Any Kiadini. Um and uh, back again on Monday. Excuse me. Oh, oh. Doing a hobby stream. There are some other bits and bobs coming out for Patreon subscribers over the next few days. Um, so I hope you enjoy those. If you do want to check out the Patreon, if you haven't already, it's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. Or for ease, if you just go onto my YouTube channel, page there is a button on the banner that says support me on patreon if you do want to have uh have a look but uh either way thank you so much for watching and chatting and super chatting and just generally being uh lovely i will let you go now so i hope you have a lovely rest of the day however much is left uh i'll catch you soon take care and uh yeah goodbye again bye thanks bye bye wait a wait a minute Sarah Burke did a last minute super chat saying, thank you for streaming. I hope you, uh, pff, pff, pff. let's try that again. Wait a minute. Sarah Burke's done a last minute super chat saying, thank you for streaming. I hope to see you play this again soon. Ish. You are awesome. Thank you, Sarah. That is very, very kind. I'm sorry. I flubbed that quite so badly. I'll go now. Bye.